Yer, what up, y'all? Welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. It's your boy Bugs. I got my guys guesstimate in this bitch right now. You did. Hello. Yo, How are what's you? up? What's How going on? Who are you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Bobby Shock. Uh, I guess I play bass and I sing. Keyboards. German. Who are you? Yeah, Andrew Friedman <laughs> or Friedman, and I play drums in the band. Taylor Garcia. I play keys and winds. And I'm um, Chris Rosica. I play guitar. Fuck yeah. Pleasure, guys. Thank you so much for having me. Um, just to give you all a little inside, this just took two hours to do. <laughs> <laughs> so we just set it up. Got some we're fans here. blowing. We're here. It's all about getting set up, making the vibe right, making sure we're not sweating. That's the worst yes. part. Might be one of the worst parts of life is sweating. <laughs> yeah. To cool us down is kind of fucked up, but um, so how are you guys? Doing good, it's chilling. Yeah, doing well. Yeah. Yeah. How's the fucking Indian summer treat in you? <laughs> oh, you know, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just took the ACs out, you fuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, got this, we got this late little <laughs> heat wave going on right yeah. now. The November heat I'll wave. take it, though, dude. It's a warm yeah. All Saints day. Ooh, it's been, is yeah. it? So I heard you guys just drop something. Yes, we did. Yeah, when was that? Officially, did it was that drop? the beginning of August. Yeah, I want to say the ninth. It was in yeah. August, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. mystified. Yeah, early August, the third LP for us. The third album. Yep. Yeah, many more to come. Which one was this release. called? That's the one with like the scorpion on it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah was I was listening fire. to that shit yesterday. Did you tell them what I told you? Yeah, it blew my mind. Fucking, yeah. uh, I had just bought this thing. And I was driving in my car, and I put the song. I was like, you know what? I haven't listened to Guestimates records yet. So I put it on in the car, and like six minutes into it, I was like, I'm high. I'm stoned as fuck. And then I realized I didn't take this out the package yet. (laughs) Hell yeah. And the second I took it out, I was like, yep, that's it. I'm calling Andrew right now, telling him that that just happened, because that's a vibe. But obviously, that's what we'll get into. That's where we'll start. Because as a drummer, it intrigues me those time signatures that you guys do. That it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. You want to know the secret, though? And I'm like, nah. (laughs) Yo, Bugs, the secret is all just one. It's all just one. Don't give away. Don't give away your secret. How? (laughs) But but you know what? It's 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 a tool. It's not even a secret. It's a tool. You either know how to use. How though? Just think about it. Like, you know, you're in, like, 9, 8. Instead of being, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Why don't you just go... That, 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 that. One, 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 one. But then it's more rhythm, so it's a feeling. But... The you guys switch it up on that, where it should be 4 or something. That fucks me up. You want to know a big seat? Oh, sorry, Chris. I was going to say, I think something, like, songwriting-wise that we do that kind of gets at what you're talking about is... And also kind of what Andrew's saying, where, like, you can almost think, like, everything is <laughs> yeah. just in one. It's yeah. not, like, all these time signatures or whatever. But, what, well, like, if we're switching from one to another, um, as long as there's, like, a consistent pulse going yeah, on, uh, you know, the, the tempo always kind of <laughs> stays the same. Or even if it changes, it's some kind of, like, maybe, like, metric modulation mm-hmm. so that it's all still based off of the same kind of, like, click true so At you guys still you do still do sequences of four because they feel oh, like dope, but but mm-hmm. within those that's that's where the math is right like so quadruple on our most recent record a big tool that i did or a big thing that i did is i would play four like just a normal four four beat mm-hmm. and then they could be playing at five they could be playing in seven and then you have that pulse that everyone feels and knows, but little do they know. It's like uh, it's still all, all these layers yeah. that are going yeah. on. He kind of keeps the back going the hearing. whole time, yeah. but that's what I'm hearing. That is so gnarly. I could never do that. Oh yeah, it would just fuck me up. You could do anything <laughs> no, yeah. you set your mind. You could to totally do it. Yeah. I think the main important thing is uh, listening to each other instead of just I could thinking be about president. what yourself if you want. is doing. Like <laughs> if you hear what everyone else is doing, like that's, that's how you're a, going to stay. That's a big together. Yeah. I think the biggest so. hmm. aspect of this band is the ability to listen to each other because there's so much stuff going on all the time. And when we play shows, a lot of times it's going to be a different experience. We might play a solo differently. We might just do something that's not 
the same layer that we always have. Yeah, that's what so, I love about yeah. it because it's like a, your shortest song is seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that. We're trying shit. to actually fix that with the next record. Yeah. I, no, but I, for me, that's what I enjoy because um, I don't listen to much music because I don't want it to have much of an influence on mine because mm-hmm. involuntarily it does without you even realizing yeah. whether it's that's like a, true. a lyrical right. scheme as a writer or tempo or something. So I try not to listen to anything, but if I found myself, if I'm listening to something that's going to be locals and homies and sh- people that I like am fans mm-hmm. of, and listening to that the other day, it's just, it just put me into perspective of like... Um, the drummers that I'm fans of, like I said, are, are things that I can't do. It's not that I, I can put whatever yeah. I put my mind. I don't want to even count like that. Like I told you earlier, boss. But when I listen to it, it feels so good to just like it, listen true. to the math. But, but you're doing math. Like when you rap and you play mm-hmm. drums at the same time or you're singing. And but I can drums. only do that with a specific tempo. True. I have to yeah. do like if you notice it's. Barry, one, two, three, four. Well, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. It's just, it's whatever, whatever you're spending time <laughs> practicing, though. Yeah. Anderson Pat can do that, but <laughs> if I was, if I started off doing that, I probably could. But I always thought that singing and guitar was harder. Yeah, it can be tricky yeah, because of crazy. all that. That's it's so a, much more I feel like it's kind of a similar thing. It's a, I mean, it, it could depend on mm-hmm. how intricate of a part you're trying to play and sing over to. True. Yeah, so There's that's a lot why, of variation there, yeah, you know. Yeah, so as a drummer, that's yeah. why. There could I be am, a difference between, like, strumming some chords and then maybe, mm-hmm. like, playing a more, mm-hmm. like, intricate riff and trying while to sing over that. Yeah. yeah. If I'm drumming, yeah. I have to keep it, like, just the beat. It's true, because, well, as you know, it's you know, you you got all these different limbs. Not your dominant hand that you're usually, like, Because some of them will be doing, like, bass while singing and then doing chords, too. Yeah, line on the top. Yeah. Like, some piano players. That Yeah, that shit is difficult to do. So Look at it as being like a spider. <laughs> <laughs> like the microphones. <laughs> Everything looks like a spider right now. Does. Fucking um, I have sure. the head of the spider. Fucking <laughs> So what um what's your favorite song off of the new album? One by one. Which one's your favorite? Um I'll probably go with uh I guess Pretzel People because it's such a weird I like that one. Strange song. <laughs> a lot of one. movements. Um not too much repetition in terms of a typical pop type of a track it's more like movements um and uh yeah well, you guys have like content. four songs in one like, <laughs> it's been yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they could, they with could one be. overlying we story we tend to do that yeah, from time no, to time that's great though because of the way they mesh it's like by the end of the song you don't know if it went to another one or uh-huh. not that's what I love yeah. I love that because I'm more on the improv I like I thoroughly enjoy the improv side of things so to like know how you guys section them or sequence them is interesting as fuck mm-hmm. so he likes pretzel people Oh man, I'm gonna have to go with pretzel people too. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. it's similar reasons as but. So we have a tendency every record we like to just have a big epic, and I don't know if it's ever planned that way, but it just I prog bands at this kinda, point. It just, kinda, it's it's it kind just of happens. Been. Yeah. 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 I'd say the first two not as much, and then this one we went into the like oh, album still, with the intention of true. like having we're a, having yeah. another yeah, long it was, epic. Uh, yeah, and don't forget about be it. Focus and God's Liquid Cow. Shout out to Focus. No, that's what I'm saying. Those weren't like. I don't think we went into making those songs like, yo, we're making these long songs. Like, we just saying. made these yeah. songs and we're like, yo, we have yeah, an epic. Yeah. 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 It, yeah. it was, it was yeah. premeditated. So how yeah. do you sequence them? So when you record them, are you doing them in one take or are you punching in? Uh, I guess because they're so, them, see, they're so separate, like with effects. Yeah. Some of it has too. to be yeah. done kind of together. Some, some things can be done separately. I mean, you want to kind of do it all in one yeah. take to, yeah, for yeah, a vibe, yeah. but, um, so when we did this record, I'm pretty sure the first three songs that we did were what, it was Mystifier, Squeaky Door, and then Mountain Rider, right? Or not Mystifier, what am I talking about? Say, we, like, <laughs> we have a song called Mystifier? Oh, uh, we, no. <laughs> we uh, Squeaky Door, right? Mountain, Mountain Rider, Rider and, and then Ultimate, Ultimate, Ultimate Support. Yeah. Yeah. And those were done with basically drums and bass together. And then I also recorded drums and synth with Taylor. Right. Because he kind of had like a main like rhythmic like element in that part. song. Kind of. mm-hmm. um, and then when we went back, we kind of did things a little bit differently because it's way more intricate, especially pretzel people. So I think, did we do you first, Chris? 
for pretzel. for pretzel. And, yeah, we did it ass back. We did it yeah. one by one. Like we did drums yeah. last. We did, yeah, which, which is like, very very that. weird. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why we like it was. I guess an it experiment. But the yeah. first band <clears throat> project that we did, we did it one by one. But it started with me as the drums. Yeah, yeah. You'd want to lay down drums. Pretzel was recorded yeah. like very yeah. kind of like fragmented and. It was just like a matter of who was at the studio at what time and yeah, yeah. Like, yeah let's just like get started. Oh, really, you know what? A little yeah, experimentation. Yeah. We do the parts. You and I got so there first. We did. Yeah. And yeah, then for you the guys first joined. songs. Yeah. 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 But then me and you went up first. First, then Taylor and I joined after yeah. yeah, later. The second three songs or the last three songs. Mm-hmm. Interesting. What's Great experience though. My favorite's yeah. also Pretzel. Is yours Pretzel to people too? Um. Hmm. Yeah, probably. All right, so this I feel like that makes sense because it was a group. I, pretzel I, people. I really, that was the group I really song, like you know? some of the production on Squeaky as well. Like specifically, kind of like what ended up happening with the vocals. Mm-hmm. I feel like that yeah. one's a little bit more unique in that way from our other songs. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's kind of fun because we yeah. we didn't go into making that song with any real like inspiration or intention, but after having everything mm-hmm. recorded, we we're like. Yeah, you know, there's definitely like a talking heads thing going on here. We kind of, I'd say, in production, played into that a little bit. Word. Right. And it was kind of fun. Mm-hmm. I'd say. I agree. Dude. And this is your third project. Yeah. Yeah. So it's third our LP. fifth release. Third. Yeah, because we had two LP. two singles. That's right. Yeah. And oh, then we had this like true. EP that we came out with that was. Oh, oh I forgot. I always, I always forget. forgot about yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah, there's a Which deep cut. Is, is it still out? Yeah, there's still there. There's a deep cut on Bandcloud. Bandcloud or Bandcamp. Bandcamp. What's, the, what's the cover art of it? It's, <laughs> it's a, it's it's like a, like a picture. Pray and pray. Oh, I saw yeah. the Prey Man. Yeah. 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 That was in our backyard at the house we lived at the time. No, it's in front of the pizza place across the street. Oh. We used to live. Yeah. Yeah. campfire one. That's the, Unfortunate Prey. Yeah. The that's the second album. That's our second album. Actually, the person who did that art, our homie Constantine. Shout out Constantine. He did this. And he also yep. did the uh, double shout out. That's right. yeah. He did the art did for that, that and art. it's awesome because one was digital and like clearly. Where did the street light come from? Who took it? Oh, that's got a history. Um, that's got a big history. It was actually you? Not, as far as I know, it's not. Well, I don't know where the guy originally. They got it out of <laughs> where it, yeah, I don't know where it yeah. originally came they, they from. They bought it at a thrift store. But a guy oh, was at a thrift yeah. store. Yeah. A friend of ours that we used to live with, Josh says he got he bought it like at a thrift store and it was already wired basically to just plug into a wall Mm -hmm. um and then when he when we all were moving out he wasn't going to take it with him and so andrew bought it off of him i had to that's all we had it for like probably three years now you never never realize like how yeah big they are they're fucking huge it's always suspended in the air yeah and they're heavy pretty massive they're really in the wind dude yeah that right you think about that thing swinging around above you you think of that falling on your car and you're like oh fuck you're done yeah like a hurricane or something way more right on the drivers no yeah with the top down boom Ooh, fucking light brutal. To the face. Yeah, that's epic. yeah. But that that traffic light's got a big history because we used to do a lot of basement shows, and we still do. We actually we got yeah, a basement show tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Last time I was there was the spider web. Whatever. It was right? Halloween. That was right around this time. Actually. Oh, weird. Yeah, that was probably because oh, you came to it. You came yeah. to our house. That was probably then, yeah. at the last place. Well, was, at the well, that was funny. Yeah. How did I meet you guys? How did we meet? Uh, I don't. I think um, it was through was it Cal. It was Orleans. It was at Orleans when we did Orleans. It was like you and Leaf were hanging. When we that's when I met you guys. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. who was? Who yeah, was it was. Oh, you I were, never knew you guys. You were that? hanging. Nah. With, you were hanging with Not Leaf then. Then. Leaf, and we yeah. were all just Leaf. like talking outside. Shots, because you guys just yeah. happened to be, I guess, like in the Raging. area. You just they came just by, like, and they were just yeah. Yeah. No, it was the release. It was the. Um, oh, it was Half Soul. Who else? No, 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 Half Soul. Also, you recorded this kind of like iconic little clip of Andy. Either you were saying him bullshit now, and he was telling some story. No, no, it was when he was like. He, well, maybe, but oh, I'll put that. I'll put he, that he shit said in right something here. like no. he was saying something like, "Oh, these people said, oh, you gotta quit or something." He's like, but oh, I'm I'm like, like, wow. but <laughs> I ain't never gonna quit. I'm never gonna give up. And yeah, he like, yeah, gave yeah, this little motivation. Yeah, yeah. Andrew, what's your name? Andrew, my name Leaf, bro. I'm so grateful <laughs> that you let me smoke with the boy. Yeah, dude. Oh my God, it's the drummer. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, you're like a celebrity around these parts. Not, bro, what you were doing, if nobody else tells you tonight, bro, you create a size. Dude, I had 10 game. people come up to me and tell me that I suck and should quit. But you know what I said to them? I'm not going to quit. <laughs> That's 
That's what sparked it, you know, sparked that. You gotta inspire the people. <laughs> right. You know what sparked that? I was gonna say, but I didn't, because we beeped it. So yeah. there's that. Beep. But no, I'm kidding. Shout out to the Armenians that night. But, um, <laughs> but, Dude, that was, no, was Andy's coach came we, yes. <laughs> we, were, we were literally walking down the street I don't remember why we. Were, it was probably for Half Soul no, um, oh, there was the other guys. We couldn't think of the band name right Dewey. now. The it was with Dewey. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was the Valley. Was there yeah. Ryan oh, plays because really because uh, my homie Ryan plays guitar for that. And um, yeah, it was their album. Was their we house. had a couple other and people. Dead Flowers were there, yep. right? No, no, the Dead Flowers. If they, they didn't play, th- Zach, I think Zach, Zach was I there. Think Zach was yeah, there. Zach was there, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Zach, dude. Yeah, shout out to Zach. Top two guitarists out here. Period. Fucking, um, that's, uh, yeah, so that was why I went, and we were just there with high energy. That's just how we ride around. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. But when you matched it. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was like, the light was blue, everything was vise. I remember that. Now I remember. So that was when we met. I thought we. Yeah, so what was that? Hey, like to be 20, fair, I couldn't remember. I, I felt like we knew each presented other. To me, so huh? I was just matching the energy presented to me. Good. I want to say that was. Yeah. All right, so what we were two talking about ago? earlier, the manifestation of yeah. putting it out there. You'll get it mm-hmm. back. Mm. You'd be nasty when you pull up to a place. You best believe you're going to get some <laughs> some Jersey attitude back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if you walk in there like, hey, dude, like you, <laughs> like you. <laughs> it's good. It's a vibe. That's epic. So it was order leaves. And then the second time, that was when we came down. Yeah. Yes. That's when you came here. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we played the basement show. And then the third time was when. You came Dem here Fest. again. Dem yeah. Was it? Yeah. Them. Didn't well at some point though we also went and <clears throat> played like an event that you were oh, having. Oh yeah, was it? It was we just it was the just warehouse. the three of us though I think because oh, Bobby yeah. wasn't yeah. available. It was, yeah. it was, it that's was, like, another with, time that it wasn't. Yeah. It was with the rappers and shit. That's we were how just that's jazzing. how late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh we did the yeah. Jam yeah. Set. The, the yeah, warehouse. You guys did do a show there, but Bobby didn't make it. No, he couldn't make it. So regardless, it's always been a three. Then the show. I've always seen it. Then the show that they ended up that we got at that show. I couldn't go to. Yeah, and then the three it's always been a three piece. Yeah, I don't remember I, that that one at Eden. I I remember I see you guys there. But yeah, I don't DJ remember Tori was there. We yeah. sat. Oh, I sat yeah, in with yeah. him a little bit. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So many shows. <laughs> That's yeah, so crazy. Yeah. I remember so many things between. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was. There was that, like, That's what we would do there. there. Was a lot oh of yeah, that was just like a cloud of smoke. Yeah, but there was actual <laughs> clouds on the ceiling too. So really, yeah, yeah that spot was, was cool. Definitely. Yeah, as of as of last week, Bugs thought we were a three piece. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Every time I came, I was like, he's uh, he has COVID every time. Yeah. <laughs> but I forgot that there was a show where you didn't come to. That's why, yo, when you I didn't refer- I didn't remember that one. I got yeah, that's yeah, really I, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really? That's how I that think was. so. Yeah. Oh shit! That was also probably <laughs> the <laughs> least <laughs> the least like guesstimate show. Yeah, we played. Yeah, we just did a lot of. Oh, yeah, we did too. Because like, we didn't even do like, like, yeah, yeah, we played. And I was like, like yeah, yeah, you guys did. Yeah, did you know, it. We did all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Well, it's weird because like that one was a good one. I remember we were nervous. I'm not a guitar player. I'm like a bass guitarist and like a keyboard player. So like if I, if we we could pull off maybe our music without Chris for some reason, as bass drums and and you know horns and keys and everything. Mm-hmm. But it's if just, it's the other way around, it's like it's more of like I couldn't play your parts. I mean, yeah, you know, like I, I would not even know where to. Start. I don't even like. I I think about it even more just from like how it's gonna sound live. Yeah. Like I just at least this is just me speaking personally. Like my my preference, but like I've seen other bands also perform without a bassist, mm-hmm. and I think that specifically without like if you hear a band that's like drums and guitar and vocals. Yeah. There's like yeah. there's something, something ex- like even yeah. even if it was yeah. bass guitar and vocals, it would. Something about it sounds Better. more. Yeah. I don't know. It just sounds it's more way together. Different. Well, that's like without wow. the bass, it's like it's there's true. some very Cal crucial has, element is missing. Oh, shout sometimes. out to Cal I mean, Black. when you have tracks, of, like, like he still he still has a full like, like, soundscape sound, behind him, and you know? he's got his own thing going on. But yeah, with, if, without any bass, like in the in the sound you know, at all, it's very I'm not important as an individual, but bass is important. Yes, you are. But when we play that show, I'll never forget. When you post your Instagram post, and I open up in the morning and I'm tired and I see you like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like dude I'm tired but whatever well, I'll wake up you, you, oh, you, okay. you Bobby, just saw that like Hunchback of Notre Dame video I just did no oh you do that that's, that's just how I see you like when I think yeah. of you I just see you do as much and like it's funny. the camera's over here but then it switches and when the camera switches it's you looking at it 
Oh yeah. <laughs> That's how I envision you. Every Taylor, time I think of you, been a few of and it's those fucking moments. amazing. It's perfect. Like all these parts, like it'll be clipped in, so people will be able to see this. I fucking just think like what would I thing. want to see when I'm like eight years old, and that's mm-hmm. like basically what I think. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> kind of that's yeah. just trying to capture the years. Yeah, as artists, we, ha- we yeah. have to be like the coolest versions of us as kids. Like, <laughs> sure, yeah. like Johnny Bones, my boy Johnny Bones. He w- he's definitely the fifth grader <laughs> I wearing say Johnny. the, the, yeah, the buttoned up with the flames on the shirt. You remember this? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that, some, like some Ed Hardy yeah, fire. Yeah, metal, yeah. you know? Give me yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Me, I'm like, Twisted like metal. cool shapes and shiny shit. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. that's what I like. Like this thing right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like like shit like that. I don't want to embody like frosted tips, but like I, I want to embody. Like, <laughs> that's you know. <laughs> yeah, you're the yeah. You're, the other, you're the mullet version. That was exactly. Right? There was yeah. a time for that. <laughs> it was like Bud Light, oh, like with yeah. the, and then you, yeah, you represent more of like a chill like palm tree flip flops. The flip flops with the the one in between the toe. He's, he's the dude. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Yeah, Andrew's like the, the dude. socks on. Yeah, yeah Andrew I'm just, is I'm just the, the guy. Dude. Yeah, the dude. You're yeah, absolutely yeah. the guy with like uh like that French painter hat. <laughs> you know, like oh, he's a Renaissance just, man. Yeah, just like yeah. you want like, uh, like proper, oh, yeah. but just because you want to be. <laughs> just <'cause Yeah>. you, <laughs> like, yeah. And then, dude, you're not, you like I don't, dude. It's crazy. I don't. Your aesthetic is more just like oh, library. <laughs> library no chris sure. is the library okay. like library yeah. for sure i could see that he's like, like the owl in avatar <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like chris is like oh. an important character that you reach at some point in the game yeah dude it's great though <laughs> yeah. because you guys are so different like this is the thing that i loved about the first band that i was in which is like it usually should be things that don't keep a band together because it's like so clashing but you guys it works all the like specific like individual personalities that i see let alone the the style that you do come together with individually would you make something different like if you're all making solo music absolutely it would sound what genre would you be doing if it was our individual shit sounds significantly like different extremely it's different. wild yeah. Yeah. it's wild uh, it's yeah. actually really wild I think if I was making stuff like I don't know purely on my own I think it would fall probably a little bit more like in the realm of like jam bands right. and jam right. music yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. with a lot of other stuff <laughs> more I don't oats, know more probably oats. like <laughs> like kind of funky <laughs> funky jammy yeah. I, I don't know there's, there, I already there's know a lot of stuff you'd be dropping a microphone in like a lake or something and like <laughs> Pulling it up and down yeah. while you hit the wire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's like pretty spot on. Yeah. It. It's like Philip Garcia over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. What would you do if you do a solo? Well, you do make solo. It's all sound experiments. I don't know how to describe what it is, though. It's just, you make like MIDI music. It's just, I do no. make MIDI music. Yeah, but my uh, so like, what? Like plug in the wire well, in and it's like. I, I only no, know that's how to play music. drums, and that's I know how I do that, that shit. I only know how to play drums, and I can play like a little bit of keys, but I compose a lot of stuff. Oh, when you so, make, yeah, so, what do you so when I make it, I just use MIDI to kind of like paint the ideas, and then the whole Are idea. You talking about MIDI the, keyboard? No, 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 he like, like writes it on piano, like, grid, yeah. like grids, yeah. like dropping oh, it. Like or I'll play it like out, or, yeah. Yeah. or I'll play it out, and I'll figure like, out what output yeah. is first and everything. Word. That's a new, way. that's a new digital so version. So we of actually writing. we have Super a song dope. I did that with on our first album, which was it's true. Ism. 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 I see mm-hmm. machines. machines. Shout out to Taylor for coming up with that name. Come on. And that was like one of his like Ism? one of his yeah. tracks he made yeah. on the computer, and we were like, well, actually, just let's just use this. And that was wild. And that was like the backing, and you build on the three of us learned all the parts. He knew what the drums. Yeah, we kind of like decided who was gonna play what and the first time yeah. he played it chris played this ripping solo which it was always missing I, i'm not going to program a guitar solo. you can't I mean, so you can't do when he played that yeah. and i heard what he was doing i was like you have to play that every time that's it that's uh-huh. the one <laughs> isn't that, that the best the album feeling solo? it's just like you just find it i'd say another yeah. thing yeah. might be anything i make tends to have this really dream as maybe good or bad, but like the I was state, gonna say, it's like induced. It could either be yeah it, <laughs> yeah, it could either be a nightmare <laughs> or a dream. But there's definitely this very like ethereal meditationy vibe that's usually existing. So I that's see like, things when I sleep. I be like three a.m. You're, you're making some music. Yeah, I'm just like oh, I see some. I think, yeah, right I don't now. know. I think even individually, everybody has a like a decent range of stuff that they would probably get into. I think that's yeah. really mess important. Around with. I mean, in a band to stay together and continue creating to have their own solo stuff. Yeah. Like that's why like, yeah. I mean, me, Cal and Carney, we're, we're our peaks and valleys is yeah. a side project. Yeah. Right. It's not our mm-hmm. thing. 
that's that's the whole point. That's why Peaks and Valleys is yeah. so great because the second it's the one thing we don't have to True. construct and like okay this part goes there. This is that we just pick up the instruments yeah. and play it, and it's like mm, just sharpening right. our sword. Whereas in the other band that I was in, it was like I joined their band, so they already had all the songs made. And they were and like, I do this, them. do that, mm-hmm. do this. They weren't like, do that. I oh, did my okay. own nice. thing. That's true. But and I like so when I said I recorded the drums, I was only in the band for like five days, and I yeah. was I was starting their records with like so so it's a very different. It's not like I had my input. It wasn't a yeah. jealousy thing like that at all. Mm-hmm. But um, they didn't make their individual stuff. And I think that that played a big role in our growth as a group, you know, Mm -hmm. whereas Peaks and Valleys isn't a band. It's just there's no pressure there. It's when we can play, we can play, and they they focus on their solo stuff. Yeah. So, like, my point is, like, if you guys, like, you already do it, you're already doing it, actually. Like, you don't have – there's no pressure of, like, oh, guys, I have an idea. We can use it for this. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's not. I'll just keep it for myself. That's yeah. I think that's the only way that you guys can keep growing and one thing Guestman is not it. lacking is ideas. <laughs> we have He's good. So many we do ideas. Have a lot of ideas. I think yeah, we're too many. we're working on two albums basically. Right kind of now. like at the well, same Well, it's not time. it's not about a lack of <laughs> ideas. It's about laying them down and, and getting them and actually doing it and solidifying right. it and having it be malleable for the group. Yeah. That's think, different than making your own stuff and keeping it for yourself. What I'm saying is you guys make your own stuff and keep it there, which is important. Yeah. That's very important for... Well, the Bobby's a it. big example of that because he's mm. released 10 solo records. At this point. Is it Just 10? released the ninth one. Oh, wow. nice. yeah. That's crazy, yeah. man. That's, that's, yeah. Huge. that's Congratulations. Bobby, yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but that music, I feel like it's it's so different than Guessman, but it's so Bobby. But like, you could, if describe. you listen to what I have done you on my should, own, mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, the first couple albums that I did, I did it all by myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know that's I, th- that's I was I th- I like what you were getting at. I think that's a really interesting happening. observation. If you listen probably to like some ideas that we've all written individually, you can hear how all of those things combine yeah. and become Make what guesstimate. Yeah. yeah, you could probably find if if you went and listened to what I've done on my own, you could probably find maybe a a little like moment that could possibly give you like a guesstimate feeling. Yeah. You know, but yeah. that's just because I'm one of four. That contributes to one single sound. Where I'm doing yeah, my but own that's, thing, that's, all, yeah. I'm just trying to do it all myself. That's you know? huge, though. Yeah, like like you just mentioned, because that the sound that you guys have, um, which it just ties into the name perfectly, because it is mathy, which makes me like, and that's what I said on the phone with him the other day. Like, it's like a guesstimate is the perfect name, because like I'm guessing what genre is going to be next, or I'm guessing what the numbers are going to be in the sequence. So it's like it's just all that questioning of like where are we going why are we going here why do we sit in pretzel shape and shit like that (laughs) like yeah like all these questions of why kind of get answered for me and the sequences of how you guys transition between them because as an artist and people we always just want to look and search for shit and Mm -hmm. I'm like searching for stuff to listen to as a musician and enjoy that I know will no way have an impact on what I make yeah. and what you guys create yeah, because it's that, like bro. so extensive every single yeah. song there's nothing in there that'll get stuck and come out of my stuff yeah. because it's just you guys just keep going on and it's like it's like getting lost in the woods but we didn't leave a trail like, <laughs> you know what I mean right. it's like once I'm out of the woods it's like okay that was a dope waterfall but I'm not going back there yeah. to find it because <laughs> there's pretzel people over there and shit <laughs> <laughs> so. Lord rolled and all his gold Love I definitely like listening make. to music that I know I like couldn't reproduce myself so it like gives me something to look up to you know? that's what I mean yeah I like exactly. when I, the drummers I'm a fan are like Ginger Baker Yo, mm-hmm. he's a G. I Legendary could never drum. in my motherfucking cream, life right? do, yeah. yeah. I could appreciate Dude, how you would like just like, he would literally just like beat people. Because they <laughs> could like asshole. play along. Yeah, he, well, <laughs> yeah. he was doing a lot of drugs. That was yeah. a lot of drugs. Yeah, I bet him and Jocko <laughs> But he moved to Africa with... Oh, they would have yeah. shot each other. <laughs> he moved <laughs> to sure. Africa with the percussion, percussion. Like, the percussion of the percussion didn't even play drums for like five fucking years. Mm-hmm. And just played percussion with his hands. I still haven't and checked that out. I, I I know about that where you the, the African the, stuff and um. Well, it's it's in the documentary. I don't think like I know they cover it greatly in that documentary. I think he was like heavily on. I, like I forget the name of it. He, he had a big I mean, heroin problem. Yeah. Like, you know oh, he was an about. asshole. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Was, and he was known for being an asshole. But he was I'm talking good. about drums. Yeah. 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 Not drugs. Let's talk about Michael Jackson. Yeah. I'm kidding. P Diddy. 
That brings us to P Diddy. Uh, ain't no oh, party yeah. like a guesstimate party. Oh, yeah, right. that's going to be one of our, our albums. Our topics? No, oh, our, our next <laughs> album. Ain't no party like a guesstimate party. Ain't no party like yeah. a guesstimate party. Uh, that's right. May, maybe don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe don't do that. You know, it's just Damn, instruments for two. and drums We're everywhere. Two Track on, one uh, is lubed up and ready to go. Jesus oh Christ, <laughs> it's so bad. You think we'd get canceled if we did that? No. It's 2024, not, baby. No. See, that stays on your... We can do your... what we want! <laughs> Everything's changing! This part stays on your discretion. Yeah. It's my money, and I want it <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It's 2024. So, uh, we a new can do song we, we got that we're working on. It's called Your Sister, My Car. Mm. Huh? Your Sister, My Car. That's my Car? Of, yeah, that's the name of the song. Is there, like, so, you know, it, it makes me wonder, is there some kind of... Underlying there? story. Like, is it can, I, is it can I find her happening? Facebook? <laughs> right. <laughs> is, this like, is this like you're getting well, back it's to your a, friend a QR or something? Code like, and connect it. It's an instrumental song. How do we open this? How so we it's up for things? interpretation. Oh, here I got you. Keep going. Why can you pass talking? one? Because that's all. It is. That's it. It's up you for pay interpretation. Attention. Oh, yeah. you stopped talking? That was yeah. it? Wait, yeah. what was it? What's the description? No, I said it's up for interpretation. Oh. It's instrumental. I swore you were about to go on like a description. So I'm going to sample that right there. There you That's go. a million dollar record right there. Can someone spin that? <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, oh, I'm do so, um, so, yeah, dude, the last time that I... How am I doing this? Oh. So, last time that I came here... I got, I got it. Oh, you can't do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Clean. Clean. I, my car was falling apart. I stopped at the <laughs> mm-hmm. toll, and it said, do, 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 do. <laughs> it turned off, and I handed the dude money, and he just looked at me like... <laughs> So like I just looked at him and was just like please 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 and you went in the toll that's nuts just paid it and it went on and it was overheating a little bit. Get the bottle opener. That was because of the oil, right? Yeah. How much is the the toll from like Egg Harbor, right? Is that where you're coming from? It costs more for me to go to Philly. It's like fifty bucks, right? To come all the way up here. No, it only costs. I was gonna say that's like going to the city, like if. Because I have family in, like, Linden. So if you just cross the bridge to go to the city, it costs, like, 30 bucks yeah. to go there and back. But for well, them that's to come here, yeah. to come to New Brunswick, like, it's four or five exits on the turnpike, mm-hmm. it's, like, three bucks. Dude, yeah. the turnpike The turnpike sucks. Turnpike's not really Dude, sucks. I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the but turnpike. But it's not as expensive. The, 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 tolls are, the tolls are getting out of control. That There's is just true. so many. I don't really care. Are, like, yeah. the tolls weren't even that expensive here. Like I said, it's more expensive to go to Philly. I'm pissed about those tolls. But the fucked up yeah, thing was, like, my GPS had to be super zoomed in for me to see where... Because there's yeah. three spots you can go right, left, or straight that are 80-mile-per-hour areas where people right. are douchebags mm-hmm. and oh, yeah, trucks just and all zoom. that shit. Can't and I'm in cruise control the with the top down, just, like, bumping guesstimate, just, like, <laughs> doing math the whole way. I made it, though. We made it good, and it's way better. It was a way better yeah, ride than last time. Is. It's just doing that ride last nice. time was Bro, I don't do horrible. any math. You don't calculate? No. But what oh, happened really? was my, <laughs> my car didn't Nothing. show up my oil I thing. Feel. So that's why I didn't know I needed oil. <laughs> mm. My oil mm, light never it. came on. Oh, it was like just On my failed. old car, yeah. yeah. So when I got here, I was like, I think my car's just fucked up. I have no idea. Got home. He was like, yo, there's no oil in your engine. How did you drive Damn. 150 miles? Yeah, how did your engine not, like... Start Jeez. smoking, and it lasted yeah. another year. Damn, what? that's cr- wait, that's fucking without it lasted without until oil. Last yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. It lasted like, yeah, left willpower. It. You just left it. <laughs> that's all fucking willpower alone. That's all. The I did that, and I felt like dude. my car couldn't move like Coca-Cola. five more feet once. Like I realized there was no oil in it. I can't believe I did that. That's nuts. But it worked, and this time was such a better ride. And you guys have a new spot. We had to take the air to conditioners go. out. Had to take the air conditioners out. <laughs> it's November. I mean, yeah, we thought it was November, but apparently. Uh... <laughs> yeah, why is it so hot? It's well, dude, we only get this once every, like, six, seven years. It's called an Indian summer in That's New Jersey. That's what they say. And <laughs> it's usually, if you think about it, the last five, six years, think about how fucked up this is, actually. The second August ends, it gets real humid, and it just storms yeah. from, like, yep. September till November. Mm-hmm. Yep. And before yeah. you know it, it's November 15th. Freezing. And it's 40 degrees out, and it was just rainy that whole time. So that yeah. humidity of the heat usually turns into that, but this has just been pure sun. Yeah. yeah. Which fucked with my allergies. But, dude, it's been fucking awesome to have, like, just see – to actually see the leaves change. Yeah, and then it's and still And not warm have now. them all flattened down by the mm-hmm. rain every couple yeah, days. Yeah. 
But the air conditioners, man. Yeah, really. It's been, like, just beautiful. Like, yeah. You know? It has been. It I just makes you think, it's like, it are we like going to get killed, like, with an actual winter? Mm-hmm. Or is it going to be, like... It's probably going to be a bitter cold one, like, one yeah. of them, like... Probably, like, for the month of yeah. January, oh, February, shoot. it'll be, like, yeah. 30 every day, <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden it'll be warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm putting the top down. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I will do that. I have to do that one day. When the snow's out, I have to do it just to yeah. do it. Just to be that guy. Shoot a video. Mm-hmm. Do a burnout in all black with in a parking lot with all white snow. <laughs> that would oh, be amazing. Oh, I'm doing that. And we're going to clip this video right before it. <laughs> and then, yeah. As you know, we built an igloo once. Yeah, we were able to yeah. put seven people with in there. With ice yeah. or snow? It was snowed. Did you cheat, snow though? Was lot. it a snow pile? A snow plow pile? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, he said, I mean, yeah. No, no, no. Wait. It was not a snow plow pile. Oh, no. It was. Oh, it was we that. know yeah, that yeah. we all shoveled. We, made our own pile. Pile. we shoveled the entire that, entire driveway so basically into, like, a pile, a pile. that yeah. was, like, yeah. half on our roommate's, like, yeah, derelict car. car that didn't yeah. work anymore <laughs> in the driveway. So it was kind of derelict. Because, like, part one of the walls of the igloo was the front end of this car. And then we put like we dig, dug out little holes and put candles in there. So like, yeah. and there were the there were up, there were rugs there. there were rugs on. You didn't blow the car up? No, no, no. it, was, it, was it wasn't like that. I remember I was yeah. pissed because like it was like the one I was like I went away or something for a day or two and then it just happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys told me all about this. I think I was. <laughs> oh, you missed it, FOMO. Yeah. yeah. Where were you in Greece? I think I was in jail or something. Oh know. shit! <laughs> I'm thinking he's like overseas somewhere eating falafels and shit. <laughs> Fucking, you were in jail. What'd you do? Uh. I, I took a dump off a post office truck. No. Oh no, no that no. Nah, I'm thinking about something else. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. I think I was I was probably off recording, <laughs> recording or something. But in jail or out of jail? No, wait. What? Well, yeah, that why did you get put in jail? Was jail mixed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get in jail because that like so, shit off a post. Wait, would they let you record in jail? Yeah, man. No. Yeah, yeah, they do. No, because then you could take Your apart Bobby the machinery Smurda's and jail make a shank tape. somehow. With, like, <laughs> no, they've done the, it. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, no yeah. way. Just that no way. No. But I mean, I guess people. People do podcasts out of like yeah. uh, no, like jail that. and stuff. Like, is that? No, but dudes are record uh, verses through the phone. Yeah, so like they'll be on the yeah. phone they'll and they'll, they'll be featured the on like a hip hop album. And then the mic, and then it'll get. Wait, mixed. so people yeah. people have like smartphones. Yeah, but people do yeah. have iPhones yeah. for sure. People have everything in fucking jail, actually. <laughs> Jail's Even weird, boyfriends. man. Everything but free. <laughs> Even boyfriends. Guess who's got to play a jail? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they got married. Oh, ain't nothing married. like a dit, you know. <laughs> guess the party. Wasn't that a thing where guess the party would go to jails and like play at them? That was like a thing. Bands yeah, Elvis did that. Yeah, Elvis yeah. Jailhouse yeah. Rock, yeah. dude. I don't, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if there was like a circuit. Just sign me up. But like specific we, we artists. Totally, no, don't did, like, sign me up. Do that we could totally. <laughs> <play. laughs> like, we could play I can't be anywhere we where want. there's a kid. Now this totally looks like we probably should. Dude, we'll you cure. Know? We'll cure. Yeah, them. let's go play Rikers, bro. <laughs> dude, our our music. Now let's go to Rutgers. Let's go play Rutgers. Like rapists and they're like wild fantasies. We, they would just be like, all right, let's gonna listen to pretzel people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they should just put that. <laughs> that in the that'll keep me on the good side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it could be like <laughs> what's a right? song called? Penetration people. Could oh, it's pretzel could people. turn into a a form of torture too. Just have it on a loop. Bobby's high pitch, just torturing, torturing criminals. Your falsetto is nuts. Seriously, I've never heard anything mm-hmm. like it. it. Well, if you want to know the secret, we should all harmonize right uh, now. You take a bunch of rubber bands, <laughs> just bust out some balls. balls. <laughs> Yo, Bobby's that's revealing a big secret, secret right now. Secret. I learned that's, yeah. that's, that's what. Um, that's the, so I, that's I learned this. I learned this technique. Uh, my dad taught me. <laughs> um, and basically, this is what Robert Plant used to do. Is uh, that's where your dad learned it from. Yeah. Well, he he heard about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, totally. Apparently, how how you how you do that, how you hit the high notes. I mean, it's working. Is kind of like how, you know how they prepare bulls for a bullfight. You know, uh, they tie the tie your balls. Grab it. They tie Ooh. your balls. Oh, is that why Jesus they wore? That's Christ. why they wore those spandex. Exactly. Those, so those, wait, those do you tight do leather pants. Show? That's why Plant was wearing like women's oh, jeans. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Do you do this? Got to hit the high notes. Jeez. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I ain't I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you. You know. See, there's a lot of things Shucks. that go into just that. Just roped up down there. <laughs> Secrets. Oh, mm-hmm. There's a lot of things that go into the how how you take care of yourself down there and walk around. Because for real, if it's, if it's just if it's just hot and you're out here just chilling, you're gonna be chilling, dude. But if it's cold yeah. and you're all uptight, dude, your energy probably gonna be uptight. It's true. 
If your puppies are cold, we'll sing high pitch. Bro, yeah, my energy's sure. inside you know. out. You're not gonna be like, oh, it's fucking hot. You're gonna Dude, be like, you're gonna be like, oh, okay. it really does change. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting, dude. Weather. Science. Whoa. Climate. Biology. English. America. America. Yeah. Neurology. Germans. Uh, Fuck right. Trump. Yeah, folks, you want to know what the secret That's right. staying in time well, and guesstimate is? What? Well, <laughs> <that's not that. laughs> right or right? Folks, I know it's not a, that was a T there for sure. You want to know what the secret is to staying in time and guesstimate? They put a dog Whoa. collar on me, electric collar, and then... One! Well, other than one. <laughs> this, is the, this is the second part. Electric collar, and then Taylor, every time I'm out of time, he shocks me. Oh, so that's why it goes... Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're hearing me get shocked, and it keeps me in time, but, like, I... Word. Yeah. And that, that can lead to... Um, New ideas. Accents yeah. on, on parts that we didn't <laughs> even think of. So, like, say I'm not playing where they want me to, they'll make me play the notes. Like a puppet master, kind of. Mm-hmm. We could probably have a whole release called Shock Therapy and just... We could. <laughs> I, would, I mean, it, it's, like, set up for me to, like, put out an album called Shock Therapy. That's true. But, Bobby Shock, Shock Therapy. But I have Oh, that, dude. So. That's true. I didn't even... I, yeah. I can't take Bobby that Bobby Shock no. Therapy. We can't, we can't take that away. <laughs> no, I think, I think my 10th album, I'm going to just do all instrumental, and it's going to be, like, soundtrack-esque stuff. But I'm probably gonna call it lube. Just lube. <laughs> P Diddy. Right. P, P Diddy. Right. Just or <laughs> Diddy's Dungeon or like something like that, you know. But although right, so we, I know, think we talked about maybe using that. that now title, this is but, where I'm know. at with things, and I don't know why I've been so delayed with all of this. But the individual stuff that I make when I'm producing and making mm-hmm. instrumentals and beats are very different than when I'm writing if, as a lyricist or yeah. drumming and stuff like that. The stuff that you guys all make individually, even the sounds that you come up with with the Taylor stuff, fucking <laughs> all that shit should be really archived, packaged into a folder so that we can present it and sell it to movie makers and mm-hmm. companies that need gnarly different sounds or just weird soundtracks or smooth things that... And then, for example, if you... S- all right, I'm telling you guys I need this from all of you, straight up. <laughs> Everything that you do, like, individually, all of that, get all the stems, make sure you bounce them all dry, and then with your effects, both two separate folders, and then the whole thing connected as one into one separate folder. Put them into a folder. Zip file it. And then, yeah, that's just packages for samples. Like, I would take yeah. all the shit that you guys have as a hip hop producer and sample all that. Mm. And then for example, a person who has like a horror TV show would use them completely different than a person who has a te- a teenage show or right. a cartoon. True. So it could all be used it just depends on what the person needs it for. And yeah. you can lease it instead of just selling out right rights. Oh, between shit. the four of us here, I mean like we easily could develop That's what like I'm a saying. library of That's what I'm uh, saying. So like samples, I feel like you know? as as musicians we're we're missing out on a lot of opportunities. Opportunity by not doing it, yeah. Because we want to play shows at the end of the day. That's what, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I just want to be a touring musician. I just want to play. I'm yeah. a performer. I just want to play the drums and rap and perform all day. Mm-hmm. But also, I would love to just fucking sit down and have a concept of, like, what things are type shit. Yeah. And, and just give it, just to give for the sake of giving it. I sell, think, selling. Mm-hmm. Not giving. Selling, we all, like, but, all, all of us want... Um, really I feel like there's the pleasure of like the, the recording. Yet. It's selling. It's selling. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's like the recording process that's like, like, maybe the most mm-hmm. pleasure that you get at as an individual, maybe because it's like you know you're documenting mm-hmm. a, a time in your life. A yeah, that's what I look at these podcasts like. Yeah, exactly. And but I think at the same time, like, um, uh, kind of forgot where I was going with that. But uh, <laughs> doesn't that suck? Yeah, yeah, like you have tri- yeah. Yeah. isn't that the worst? It just branches off. Does anybody remember what he was talking about? Four people no. in here. Were you no one knows anything about playing about? live or no? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Because that's where I figured you so were it's going. Because like, yeah. that. that's what he was talking about. Yeah, there's like you, you, you record the stuff, right? And you, well, that's math, usually right? you do yeah, that. Just math, good shit. You do that Calculated. kind of first before you like 
play, but like some, like we we play stuff live before we've recorded it. Well, it's different because it. well, when he's do, writes the piano, how he does, he's not playing it. He's no. he's drawing it in. Right. So that's I also completely I different. He's just taking the ideas right from yeah. his head. And yeah. yeah. I guess I guess though. what I was trying to get to is like it, it what like the. What's so fucked about podcasts is when you watch these back. You're gonna hear what you're trying to remember right now, yeah. and you're gonna be like, "Fuck, Fuck you, dude! I, yeah, I knew what yeah, I was talking yeah, about." Yeah, yeah. It's climbing, but it's, it's right there. I'm just and I just to... cut you off again, so I'm sorry. No, you're okay. I kind of did that I'm on just purpose. Trying to like, <laughs> I I feel like that's the one thing. It's like it's so hard sometimes to say what you thought, mm-hmm. and it just doesn't come out versus what you're thinking. Yeah. Yes. You Whoa! Can, you know, hold on, hold on. You know, uh, that was some crazy shit. It's hard to say. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. That moment. That moment. Oh, I need another beer. Oh yeah. Exactly. exactly. Come on. Exactly. Come on. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> Holy shit! I can't wait to watch that back to see One exactly what was, just happened. I was gonna right say. There. So this the mentality doesn't necessarily stem from music, but there was one coach I had for track that was like you're only as good as your last performance like don't yeah. keep saying like oh this is what i could do you did that that's yeah. not what you can do though <laughs> like you have to keep training keep trying to get better so recording's cool and it like lets you document that but Ooh. i still always say it's what you can do then like yeah. it's yeah. all about what like where you are now that's beautifully and, said and that yeah. that that was articulated to describe why when i'm rehearsing for shows mm-hmm. if i'm a little stuffy and i can't inhale because as a rapper i'm saying a thousand words every five yeah, minutes right, right. <laughs> so if i if i'm stuffy and i'm inhaling all that mucus is going into my lungs and that's a huh, that's different than like yeah. a runny nose or something like that but i don't have the option though, to choose when that happens you know that's who i'm around so if mm-hmm. i have a show on Friday and I'm stuffed up. I can't. I'm not hitting the crowd with any excuse. Like, yeah. hey, mm-hmm. I forgot. I stumbled on a word because there was a little more saliva in my mouth than there usually is. You're like, I train for that. I literally rehearse. Yeah, and train that's what practicing's for. That. for. That's yep. what it's for. Right. So, it builds confidence. So when you're on stage important. or you're you're a little more tired because of adrenaline, you have a little more saliva. Your mouth yeah. is too dry. The the weeds hitting too much. What you got to throw up? All these things you need to be prepared for. And especially as a drummer too, like I've, I've been in a situation where I was throwing up for three hours yeah, from bad say. Wawa. Yo, uh, I had really? bad Wawa. Wawa. Yo, I had shitty Wawa. Was it the chicken tenders? Like three times, no, I had, a, I had a mac and cheese that was shitty. And I finish oh, playing a solo and literally run off stage, throw up, get back on stage, and keep oh, playing. No, oh, but in a we're... trumpet, though? <laughs> That's so different. It was brutal. Oh, I mean, like, yo, they, there was mouthwash. <laughs> there was mouth. I don't even know why I'm trying to be secret. Uh, no, dude, I'm on camera. <laughs> dude, that's bad don't, to throw it up into a tell. fucking trumpet. No, no I, re- I made it to the bathroom. Like, no, I no, but you went playing. back yeah. and it's still. Uh, so like, yeah, it's to say, like, I was throwing up before the show, and then I had to drum for an hour. So I threw up for two hours, and it wasn't slowing down. But there was just nothing else to come out, so I had to like bite it and just do it. <sighs> But, no, I believe in that because a lot of those people, when they see you, they've never seen you or they probably won't see you again, maybe. So, like, that's yeah. the moment where you have a chance yeah. and to, And then like, also, as a musician, you know I mean? when So you're that's throwing... when, I, what, when, when you're moving, like, when you're, like, your aura, your look, the way you move, the way you sing, everything, right. that's unforgettable. There's no one Bobby Shock. There's yeah. no Andrew. You're just welcoming, presence, your smile. Each Get, one of you, dude, each one it. of you have a very unique thing that is... That does, to that point, I was that just say, exactly getting sick on stage is always weird because you don't know what people are thinking. Why? Like, Ooh. are they thinking you're just sick, or are they like, yeah. "Yo, this dude did heroin"? And oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. exactly. That's another shot. thing. Yeah, so, like, there's this weird perception thing. I'm like, yeah. "Yo, I had one drink. Like, I don't want people to be thinking like I'm mm-hmm. blacking out, just puking all over I'm this a fucking thing. Ranger. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a. So there's also see, that. See, but that's that's the whole thing. That's um, that's the portrait that we paint. That's our image. That's mm-hmm. who we are. That's our names. That's like what we look like for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know, like we all portray ourselves in that way. Everybody judges off of things. We have to, you know, like we have to be prepared for things. Like, yo, if it's like if we see a storm cloud, we're going to judge it. We're going to be right. like, yo. If you see a guy holding let's a not giant go. ass machete <laughs> yeah, walking like, towards yeah, you. Let's yeah. not yeah. go. Go the other way. <laughs> you think he's about to skin a deer or something for us? Like, no. Nah. 
I'm out. You know what's mad funny? Same There's some the dude, clown. like, a block away that stands in the street just chopping up uh, fucking coconuts with a machete. Wait, oh, really? Yeah, it's mad funny. You could get, like, fresh coconuts across the street. Really? That sounds yeah. awesome. Right, up, yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, no, now. it's usually, <laughs> usually during the day. I want to yeah. say from, like, 3 to 6, mm. uh, 2 to 5, something like that. He's just out there with the machete Chopping. just hacking coconuts. And I'm like... That's I'm the su- benefits of living here. I was yeah. like, I'm surprised no one food, stops really good food. you. But North it, Jersey's so different than South awesome. Jersey. <laughs> that's so that's the one guy yeah. with the machete you kind of rode. You guys don't go to South Jersey much, huh? I mean, I'm from I mean, South Jersey originally, down there, but I'm from Cherry North Hill. Jersey. Oh, yeah. 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 Cherry Hills. I'm from weird. New York. Cherry Hills. <laughs> yeah. Cherry Hills Taylor's is the, the more northern person. Um, Where? New Long York. Island, yeah. Oh, yeah, I already know that. And then it'd probably be Chris. Cause there was a word you said uh, earlier. Right, 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 yeah, I said exam. Morris County. And you were like, <laughs> you said exam. Like, Long Island. Very, little, it's very you're still north. a little exam. bit north of here. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> so I mean, I was like right near Elizabeth. The A's a little long exam. So. Mm-hmm. Where are you from? I'm from Madison. What's that? Originally. New Jersey? Madison, New Jersey. It's central. It's near Morristown. It's in Morris County. That's north. Do you know where Morris. Morristown is? That's Morris, like kind of the, yeah. it's like New York commuter. That's kind of like the biggest sure. yeah. like sort of little city with a downtown area. Jersey's so weird, huh? That goes like right to Penn Station, kind of. There's I, like, like, I always say there's Madison. central. I don't, yeah, I don't even. I don't know. The Jersey. Sure, I feel like, like all. I feel like everybody in Jersey. Like, I feel like it's central part, like, Jersey. There's like, seven people talking right now. Hold on, what's happening? Like South Jersey and then North Jersey. He took over North Jersey and New York City. Everyone from South Jersey thinks they're from Philly. Mm-hmm. No, they don't think they're, they, we actually don't. I was going to say it depends, <laughs> Like, we really don't. Like, but it's just, it's weird that we don't have a team. Yeah. And if like. we did have a team, it would be a North Jersey. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And it would be, like, a New York yeah, there's, like, thing. no Devils I, you know, fans I was going to say, like the Devils South. are probably the most South Jersey, because, like, the Jersey Devil is from South Jersey. But the Flyers yeah. are yeah. so much doper. <laughs> like, I mean, not to go full blown. Bullies, dude. Not to go full blown sports, logo. but like I've been an Oakland A's fan my whole life, and then they just mm-hmm. left Oakland, and they're gonna play in Sacramento for three nah, years. Philly. Sacramento A's. until until this yeah. like Vegas stadium gets built. Yeah, yeah temporary. But I was saying, <laughs> going to Vegas. But I was like, yo, this did is they know what they were doing when they did they're that. They're a homeless baseball team. But dude, team. this is the opportunity. Is Sacramento like San Francisco? Am I tripping? They should have came back to <laughs> Philadelphia. They were originally <laughs> from Philly. They were the Philadelphia A's in the early 1900s. They won like the really? World yeah, They could yeah. get another na- American There should be an American League Philly team. <clears throat> there, there should be. It, it's what stupid. is a Philly? A, 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 a horse? A Philly? Philly? Yeah. Sure. Isn't it just like that green thing with the with the nose? No, no that's, that's a, a made-up character. That's, that's a cartoon. I, know, I, know. <laughs> I thought a Philly was just an old-school term for, like, that's, a woman. What is his know? name? Yo, Jamie. A Philly fanatic. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, what is I, a I, I, That's what I've heard of, out of movies. What is it? Oh, what is a Philly? I thought just that was, like, an old, like, not like a slur, but, like, that was a word for t- a Yankee for a is a slur too. Yeah. Philly, yeah. for Northerners. I, didn't know that. I thought, yeah, I, I'm yeah, I thought a Philly was a horse. Philly? No, oh no, Yankee. Yeah. Oh, Yankee. Okay. I know. Oh yeah. no, wait, Yankee. But there might that, be another but word like for that. that. I mean, maybe that's like originally what it was, and then it Modern became kind of like what Bobby said. I don't know. Maybe like an insult. You know, the Knicks are the Knickerbockers. That's if someone didn't don't say that again. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not, we're, we can't say that if one. Someone didn't uh, you're from Long Island, I get it. Taylor, you're hitting yeah. some dangerous territory <laughs> right now. I get it, you're from Long Island, but jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, there's still a street. You guys just that. dropped the joint. Are you guys working right. on anything new? Mm-hmm. Or is or is it oh, just yeah. a push? Yeah. Is it planning for shows? What's the move this winter? I think we always are ahead of ourselves, and like even when we re- <laughs> like release something, we already started working on what's next. Mm-hmm. Um, just because we're insane, and yeah, so yeah, we we already have album four and album five, like very basically much concepts. What we know what we're gonna do, and we already have like things chosen. Like four is like almost done. Four is basically yeah. done. Yeah, um, and then we're gonna In probably record writing. that probably after the New Year's. Are you guys recording everything yourself? Yeah, mm-hmm. we always do. We, usually, well, we, we have we, a homie that we we have a team. With, yeah. We have a uh, you know, and that's that's DIY. That's a, you, you have a small little circle that mm-hmm. you do certain things with, and it works. Yeah. Yep. And when yeah, when everyone puts everything they have together, mm-hmm. it ends up being a full studio situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or yeah. better. <laughs> yeah, I got a homie. Uh, shout out to Mark. Huge shout um, out. He so has much. a place up in uh, Sussex County. Uh, at the moment, it's called Septic Sounds, and um, why? Because uh, he's, he's got a septic tank on the property. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. He's up in the. <laughs> there you go. He's up, he's up in the mountains. Um, 
But yeah, that's kind of where a lot of the magic happens. At least we, you know, with Mystifier. I know. It's true. Unfortunate Prey. We recorded it. Yeah. All there. Partially. At our house at the time. Oh no, that's Fortune Hunters. No, that was, was all day. Fortune Hunters, yeah, we did all the whole there, thing up, in, up at Septic Sounds. And that but was recorded live, actually. That was a live album. Yeah. And that was our first album. So that's we what did I'm saying. Live. So the other ones are sequenced and sections. Unfor- yeah, the second album, Unfortunate Prey, was like. Yeah. We're gonna I thought you were about gonna... to say, unfortunately, they're sections. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Not unfortunately, but you know, the, the second album, uh, unfortunately, we did that, you know, quote unquote, under the knife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, piece by piece. Yeah. Drum and bass together, guitar. Dude, could you guys imagine? It's a little, it's a little different imagine? sound. It's, yeah. a, little different. Yeah. It it's, it's a very noticeable difference. Yeah. Yeah. If we had to do this shit with tape. Oh, I mean, the first uh, album we would have been actually. We, I was going to say, one of us would I mean, be like have, a dedicated, a lot just like tape do. cutter. Taylor. You know. you know. You're the cutter. <laughs> it's you. It's <laughs> he just Taylor looks like the kind of guy with tape. You're stitching it together. What am I doing? You're the one holding it up, making sure it's good. And then you're watching it back, like, nope, cut it again. I'm the one. Yo, I'm, I'm the, the one. Cut it again. <laughs> Scrap it. it. It's trash. Scrap the whole thing. I'm slowly <laughs> applying heat to it to distort the sounds in certain oh sections. My gosh. <laughs> Well, if it was video stuff, you could do things like uh, dude, that's paint. crazy. You could put, yeah, you could put yeah, Vaseline that. on. Yeah. To, to yeah, create. that's what they did in Star Wars. They did in Star Wars, Wars yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. In the original Star Wars film, when the land speeder is approaching Tatooine, mm-hmm. like when they, they literally like, put Vaseline on the film pass. underneath the the, the land speeder what did it do to, it? to make it look like gravity. Yeah, so that's, that's how oh, it looks like wind and like that floating. Shit. Yeah. Right. Didn't Lucas yeah. like basically like shout out Pete Diddy computer generation special effects. Whoa, and yeah, then he, he made T A T. But no, yeah. they're, they're, like stop animation and clay animation. Well, it was before that. was way before yeah. his, like him even, but you know. And then yeah, he did have his own special effects company also that like they were yeah. masters. Luke I think out. that that's yeah. I think that's really important to for us to like recognize right now because How first cool of all, Star we talked Wars about is? toilets. That was like eighty years ago, dude. We didn't even really right. have oh, toilets we were like that. About outhouses and but yeah. like that's bad. <laughs> but let's like the way that um, media was like propaganda, dude, in the fifties, forties, sixties. All that shit's crazy. But for us all to individually have the ability and technology to purchase on our own and make our own stories and tell our own stories, this is the reason. I found myself as a musician that people that come to my shows as fans friends are other musicians that i've met yeah i haven't been able to like build like a regular fan base because i sink my teeth into motherfuckers like you guys that just understand like the fabric of telling a story your story not a story you know what i mean and i think that's really important connecting it to like how hard it would have been for us to do this 20 30 years ago with tape and records and it was digital then but it was still very expensive shit yeah, that's Computer what I was going to say. Weren't even we wouldn't have access to the technology, digital, so sure. we would the just have to convince somebody to basically invest yeah. us financially. so much money, yeah. right. and then and to, buy you know like rent yeah. a studio or buy it's all who this you know gear and where or, you're at at that. And that's yeah. how a life is, right? Still, obviously, it's who you know where you're at at the right time, kind of thing. But for me, that's what this podcast is. It's more about taking taking it like by the horns yourself mm-hmm. and individually doing it or having a group of people come together like hey you have what i need you have what i need and and i think we can do this thing mm-hmm. it's the same thing with cal black and carney yeah because without me introducing or us all meeting we carney never carney had. never had his ways to make his records and he liked the way cal's record sounded so he's like cal can can i come to you with these ideas and cal produced carney's records mm-hmm. so That's he cool. got the sound that he needed and now it helped all of that just develop and same thing with peaks and valleys for example now i'm getting my fulfillment as a drummer to fully express myself nice. artistically in the primal sense with just percussion and mm-hmm. without without us painting our own shit there's no stories to tell and i really think that we're ahead of the gun is my point i think in like 10 to 20 years you're going to start seeing most people curate their own thing like mm-hmm. I think most people will start making their own art. You already see it with people taking their own pictures, right. and people are taking their own family portraits. Yeah. Like less and less wedding photography. Like mm-hmm. those kinds of yeah. things. There was a it's time where people used to, just do have to go own. to a place. Yeah, yeah. everyone's going to start making yeah. their own. There was like, a guy um, with a light. Life touch. Fucking, uh, life touch a is probably gone. disposable light bulb you know? and your oh, family would get Yeah, it. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. they'd be like, I love those. <laughs> you get <laughs> one shot. With a nice yeah, background. If you don't, yeah, if you awesome. fuck up, and like, it, that's, and that's, that's why all the paintings. 
time. You guys know why that's all the pa- that's why they were all mean mugging in the paintings because it was like a fucking four hour thing. So like it would be oh like, yeah you just have to just it'd be just painful relax to smile your face yeah. And, so mm-hmm. all the old pictures and pa- paintings look fucking miserable. You looked like you were about to elaborate uh, on something. What were we thinking about? We were talking about everybody making something. Their own thing. Something I was gonna Life say with technology. Oh yeah. Something. Well, you were just talking about how you think that's where it's going, and I was just going to kind of say that I would also... I mean, I'd like to think that that's what is happening. That yeah. people are starting to hopefully, like, seek out more... Of creation versus... More, uh, What's the word? Consuming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, that's basically kind of like what I'm... Like, looking at yeah. quality over quality. Or, or just, like, looking right. for things, things like you, you said, yeah. that, are, that are maybe a little bit more personal and less just kind of like a curated... Generalization uh, of an idea. Something that's a little idea. bit more manufactured. Yeah. And, yeah. And something mm-hmm. I was going to get to before we were talking about like technology and how we have opportunities. Technology. Talking to like, <laughs> it's crazy because talking to old heads, they talk about how like if you wanted to learn a song, you take your record, you find the spot, spin mm-hmm. it back, listen, try to pick it up, learn it. You uh-huh. can't speed it up, can't slow it down. Once it happens, you're like fuck. Then you go back, do it again. You're like, did I learn that part? Well, that's nope. how I started with CDs. Move the needle. You guys yeah, started like that, right? Up this yeah. needle like that's how we had, it we back. had to do it with I still, CDs. I still do that when when I learn songs to play them in film videos and stuff. I just literally keep looping a part, mm-hmm. like a minute long section, or whatever that I want to play. Got a the internet up there. The stuff. internet it'd be, makes it'd probably it probably easier if I could like but read sheet music. But now you don't have to go buy. You don't have anything. Like you can slow it down to like high speed and just like really. It's I mean, just on, yeah. you used to have I'm to trying to learn some complicated music stuff. To be I just able to learn down it. as slow now as possible just find and just it really and pick it apart. It out. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. The, the accessibility is so much greater. So that that's why I think that's that's really important though because like the, it adds the so many different of how much yeah, of how much knowledge we have of other music. Like when you if you type in Huge. 1970s Japanese soul music, dude, so disco, much. the disco that Japan had in the 70s is fucking. Insane. Love that soul music. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's, it's yeah. like you wouldn't think that there was something like exactly like American somewhere else that is just pushing the limits of technology, music, instruments, and and what I'm saying is it's very weird how growing up we see what we see, just like every country sees what they see. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it's all the same, but there's specific intricate cultures. The thing about America is it's like a very deep it's mixture. Everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a mixture yeah. of mixtures. It's a melting pot. Yeah. yeah, and that's why like you guys, you four of you coming together is a crazy mixture of, of individuals because that that combination makes guesstimate and you can't even like really guess what's going to come next. That's why I love even having someone like for example, Peaks and Valleys, just to use as the examples, they have constructed songs and, and, and records, and I'm just more of a rapper that goes off. So, like, I'm fully improv. So that coming together is... That's the point. That's the point. Literally. It's all about That's what together. I'm making. That's, that's the point. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I mean, even the way that that's the band the form just yeah. kind of, like plays into the name I feel like it was kind of just mm-hmm. random it was it's not random. like we mm-hmm. we didn't move in or live together or have the intentions of forming a band even while nice. we were living, living together, together really yeah. oh word you guys um, were just living together like, that was always your that's intention that's yeah. yeah oh that's epic <laughs> that's well, maybe, maybe that's Taylor awesome. was like secretly puppet mastering or something that's behind lies. the scenes but that's complete but ultimately, lies. like, I, oh, so you were scheming. I feel like I feel <laughs> See, there's like, always got to be one. I, like I was the one scheming. Outside, I was like Cardi Cal yeah. in my head. I was like, the only reason I'm moving to this godforsaken state right now <laughs> is because I need to do music shit, and I can make it happen there with the cats I know. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. See, yep. Boom. So yeah, it, takes it, <laughs> it takes a driving It takes it takes a maniacal little motherfucker yeah. like me and you behind the camera. Me no, I feel like random, like random life events I mean, just it, like it brought is. everybody it's all into random. the house yeah. and in reality and was... gave us a lot of free. Time. I mean, no, it's like, all luck. Like as yeah, much yeah. as as much as anybody could have you an know? idea, you like, really don't. You don't know how this person's gonna act when he drinks yeah. two beers for the That's first true. time. That's you true. don't know how this person's gonna act. I definitely had no idea of who or what. I was just like, I know a bunch of musicians are gonna be in this house, and I want to start something. Oh yeah, what's the craziest story, y'all? Let's go around the table. 
What's cr- crazy, crazy story? Oh that God. you can say right now before you can say, say that like about each other. Is that what we're talking about? Illegally. No, <laughs> like individually. Like, what, what would be the craziest story from like? All right, all right, all right. So, so, so let me reframe the question. We'll get back. What, what, what's the craziest thing fun. that's happened to you? Can we take a bath? The craziest break? thing that's happened to me. That's a crazy layered question. That crazy layered question to ask. I mean, I don't. I don't do. I'm not an interviewee. I just be talking shit. So. This I'm is curious like a, what Bobby's thinking of. The, is so cool many, I know that's what I'm Oh, dude, yo, actually, we'll be right back with that. We're all gonna go to bathroom and play some fucking guests. Bathroom time. Okay, be right back. <laughs> Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Check, check. we're back, check. We are indeed ah. back. I got it. Is it makes it? you feel better. I couldn't do it for Someone like 10 minutes. Someone do that. Yeah, I Thank you, dude. Kind of a bitch. That thing's Once weird. You it That's out. like the thing my mom makes. It just has to be hella You actually made me feel better because <laughs> you were struggling with this <laughs> Well, it's more of a candle. I said you were her. struggling with it as much as I did, so I feel better. Huh? Huh? Better. What? Struggle. <laughs> struggle? You know What'd what the you, struggle? What'd you say? <laughs> I said you were struggling as much as I did, so it made me feel better about myself. Oh, uh, where? Xbox. That's kind of no. fucked up. Pull together. That, I'll, that I'll, would make I'll, that would I'll, make I'll me cheers more, to that. That would make me more sad. Come on. Uh, cheers, I was so, I was so tempted. Oh. No, you made me feel better because you didn't make me feel alone. Or say, say, ciao. Ciao. Ah. Couldn't leave you hanging, Taylor. Come on. Clank, clank, clank. Look at Taylor's hair right now. It's dope. He's got the hair of a wise man. It's a 90s gym, 90s dodgeball. (laughs) 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 He does look at an elite dodgeball. dodgeball. Taylor, that's your show tomorrow. (laughs) Ben Stiller. And he would hit you with the... <laughs> he would like wind it back, bite his lip. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, your fingers hurt? Now your back's gonna hurt. We're, We're better than you, and we know it. All right, so where we left Blow off, boat we had to go do some things. <laughs> um, right, yeah. The craziest thing that's ever happened to you, type, type shit. But speed wrapped up into a minute. Okay. Speed wrapped up. The craziest thing that's ever it, happened huh? to me was something that I did. And uh, I used to work at a place called Drug Fair. Drug Fair? Drug Fair. Like it a was, fair of drugs. In a way. <laughs> R- real quick side side story. The, one of the, <laughs> the fair of drugs. Drug Fair. Why do you famous, look like you owed it? I, I should have. <laughs> I used to skate in there after hours. Um, the pharmacist used to uh, give me Xanax to sell. Oh, shit. I, I already know that. this. I already uh, said that. I should have said, said that. I already know all of this. <laughs> Yeah. I would have won the bet, dude. He used to Thousand me, uh, odds. I had that shit. He used shit to meet me back at the uh, the cardboard crusher. He'd be like, yo, take this shit. I'm like, all right. The cardboard like, crusher. That like, should be a song. Like, specific cardboard details. Like, crusher. I can see it. I can see it, dude. Yeah. The, and, and we put the shopping cart in the cardboard crusher one time, and that was fucking awesome. But anyway, <laughs> so 
Yeah. You can put what in the, in the shopping cart? We should put a shopping cart in the cardboard cruncher. Was it plastic or metal? Oh, I thought, so, yeah, I thought how the whole thing crunch was going to explode. Does it crunch it like bad pieces or is it one or a metal one? Like crazy, like like the like the metal like creaking, you know? Yeah, and everyone's like, oh! Wait, so what is it? Is it one like hydraulic push? Hydraulic press, yeah. It was fucking awesome. That's so cool. I was, I was always I thinking. I would put everything in there. Yes. Awesome. And we didn't have cameras back then. This Will is like 2006. Crush. So like, it was my first job. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I was 16. What happens at the job stage? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I used to walk out with like DVDs and like 12 packs of Mountain Dew and I have a fucking blast, you know? <laughs> yeah. anyway. I had Mountain Dew last you, night, dude. That oh, shit is me. real. Yeah. That shit works. Do you still think they think about you? I was dedicated, you know? Um... Never miss the shit. Give them nightmares. <laughs> so it, it's it's crazy because this is all like this place was like a breeding ground for bad activity. Like there was no cameras. Like we, I, I knew like one chick that again worked. second time. There's no yeah. cameras. This man no was dying. Let's, keep it Let's, see, Let's see how many more times you're no see cameras. That. Like I, everyone had like a flip phone if you wanted a phone. So like there was nothing to document anything. So, there was nothing. Like, hold on. Oh, the there was days. nothing more dope when, than being when like, deviants could be deviants. Back in the day yeah. when like <laughs> I get caught. fucking closing yeah. it, dude. Back in the day when like, like people would bring in film that, roles for you to develop. And I was like working the the photograph, you know, the the photo booth, whatever you want to call it. So we would have made them movies easily, but yeah. a lot of it was like early porn, you know, like it was <laughs> it was weird. I saw a guy's balls and stuff, like it was crazy, <laughs> oh, shit. like with his cat and stuff like that. It was really disgusting. <laughs> Did he sing high pitched? <laughs> I don't know. It was it was like they're like Polaroids of like really weird shots. <laughs> oh shit! I don't know what he was doing, but like I wait. I saw so people it. had to like develop it, so they <laughs> were like to develop they it. were giving y'all creepy shit. To yeah, develop. yeah. and you would never know what you're gonna get. You put the film roll yo, in the machine. Yo, drug fairs. Well, thinking yo, of that when they were you know. pictures, it might yo, be drug something fair crazy. Drug fairs, the place yeah. to develop the weird shit. You yeah. don't go to CVS. Yeah, those no, people no. you might see. Everyone works. Hold on, wait. I don't. I don't think people were thinking about that. Like with disposable cameras and shit. Like they probably didn't even realize. That Walmart like has an old school version it. of Snapchat yep. archives yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. of real life. <laughs> we we kept we kept the film canisters. That we gave them. That's their... analog. Yeah. Uh-huh. Blackmail. Yep. Yeah. We yeah. kept all that Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Well, it was, it was all kept analog in data collectors, dude. Well, all right. So I know we we don't want to like expand too. Drug far fair. On. Drug fair, which was basically like a Walgreens and a CVS. It was back. They they probably own everything, right? <laughs> is it BlackRock? They went <laughs> they went bankrupt <laughs> in two thousand nine. They went bankrupt same time as Blockbuster, and it was next door to Blockbuster where I lived in Cranford, and um, oh, because it's videos and shit. Yeah. Videos, yeah. Damn. Snack soda. Go How buy like some like fucking condoms that, or dude? something. You know, like like get ready for movie night. We witnessed <laughs> but, industries just. We want yeah. yeah just right saw, I saw all of it. Overnight, you know, um, yeah, yeah. Technology just blew That's up. Fucking. You guys remember like Redbox? <laughs> oh yeah, that, that actually just—they just. There's they, still one in Acme next to my house. There's still there, but they don't work. Yeah, yeah they, I know. They you, you oh, it doesn't them. work. They no, just you, left you, them you there. Touch the screen, Give me the game, and I'm keeping it. The screen comes it. on, but like you can't. Yeah. Nothing's gonna happen. The Walgreens on Jersey, really? yeah, it's the same thing. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, I mean, but, dude, let's not like act like we we can't just stream every fucking thing. Yeah, I on mean, all these sites. We, well, yo, if we do that, they're crack streams, f movies, buff streams, fucking stream east. Fucking VIP box. If fucking it ends uh. In .io, you know you're in the right shout place. Out to you. <laughs> right, right. They'll have different th- dot something yeah. in a month anyway. Uh huh. .tx, .to, .xr. <laughs> like I never knew these things were real, but there's a yeah. .dot something. There's .dot com. I'm sure for everything. .dot like <laughs> you know? Drug fair, Wayfair. Hmm. Drug fair. I, drug fair. <laughs> dot drug. Somewhere out there, if you're watching Jay Levine, I love you. Um. <laughs> But yeah, the managers were great. Mm. Um, they were insane. And uh, oh, I bet they fucking were. Oh, I bet yeah. they were the best managers actually, ever, dude. Tim uh, crushing fucking shopping carts. Yeah, that sounds. We awesome. got away with a lot. Like there was the the one guy that worked there. He'd been there like thirty years. <laughs> he got away, yeah, he got name. away with a lot, all right. His <laughs> right. name was Justin, but we called him Dustin because he was just like really slimy and dirty. Oh yeah. Um, no. And he showed he showed me that. Why do like, I already know what he looks? <laughs> he was yeah, like, yo, he had like greasy curly hair. Like, like, like his body like goes like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, he, he was kind of like a bulbous character. Yeah, like, he moves in slow motion. Like, Bulby. Yeah. But the purple guy at McDonald's. Like physically, you could see how he looked like he was sweating all the time. His hair was always wet, but he was. 
like because he was like sweating too much. <laughs> Did he have like fucking like dandruff and shit too? Probably. No, I was probably mad at him. Shout out to these fans. Probably, it's probably we would be sweating too much if it wasn't for these goddamn fans. Yeah. yeah. But he, I remember one day he goes, yo, Bobby, come here. Dude. He was like, come here, come here. And I was like, what? We used to need people like this with leaves and shit. Yeah. <laughs> we used to need fucking I, I think people Sorry, that. sorry. No, no. Uh, it's I just, heard it's a great job. Everything's happening so fast, it's like flashing back to me. Like, he just, he literally just called me back. He's like, yo, come here. And I'm like, what? He's like, watch this. And he just like threw a shopping cart into the, the smasher and then hit the and I just watched it and I was like, dude. <laughs> Nothing shot the out though. Man. And he was like, that's what we do. <laughs> and I just set in a stand. And I like went back to work. I went back to like stock in aisle five. You know, I was like, all right, I gotta go. That was crazy. That's what we do. Um, set standards. But just so we don't go too far, because there's, there's a lot of things, but the craziest thing that ever happened to me was here. And every Tuesday night, uh, there wasn't a manager. So I would go down into the basement. And I started a shit pile. No. I started popping a squat in the corner. The where poop we, again. Yeah. It's, it's where it's where we had we kept all the Christmas, Thanksgiving, holiday <laughs> decorations. You know. We kept the fertilizer. It was a little. There. A little it, was a, <laughs> it was a back room, and it was underneath the. Um, there was like a conveyor belt that like you'd like load <laughs> products down into the basement. We'd like stock them into like pallets and everything. You stocking the shit too. So huh? basically, I started this shit pile underneath <laughs> oh the bottom God. of the escalator. So like sometimes I'd hear a whirring sound. I'm like, oh. I start sweating, but I'm like trying to shit. <laughs> and um, basically, what what it looked like, it looked like one of those like Amazonian ant hills. Like oh the no. shit just it kept piling, and it, it How was many so. How was it? This was a span of like two or three months. So like <laughs> every day, type every thing? Tuesday. every Tuesday. Oh, so four eight. There times. was like several. I don't know how many weeks. Eight maybe, times, maybe ten weeks in total of what like were you doing eating? this. Uh, I was I was eating like Doritos and Mountain Dew. Because you, know? you can't Cheese shit fries. without taking a piss, though. So you're pissing on. No, top but of I was also shirt. like a young buck, so like my system was like flowing. You know, I was like I was sixteen. I was like <laughs> shitting anything I would put in, like just. He's right. got five hour energy. Yeah, metabolism was like, like Bobby's, Bobby's favorite three a.m. snack is cheese fry. Oh yeah, cheese. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened? Um, what, why? So, what happened to you during that? So what happened to me was, I didn't have a realization that it was weird. <laughs> uh, but basically, what happened was, <laughs> the um, yes, the loading dock manager <laughs> at the time, his name is Vin. Vin, if you're watching this, you remember this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, he discovered it because he had to go down and get. I forget what it was like Easter fertilizer. It was some holiday where he had to go down into this little spare room and get some decorations, you know. And uh, he, decorations. yeah, and he found this pile, and he was like, "What the fuck is this?" You know, and like, and then he starts asking everyone <laughs> if they know about it. And uh, my one, my one friend who worked there at the time, oh my, God. that got fired because he didn't show up to work because he decided to go to Six Flags. <laughs> And he was supposed to, and I had to cover a shift, and I was pissed. Whatever, and, uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I told and he, you, and he didn't I, you know, I thought, pissed the fucking basement was pissed the yeah. shit. I thought, and he, you know, I thought he was my homie, but he just like immediately ratted me out. He's like, "Oh, Bob's been doing that." And then I show up to work, and Vin pulls me in the back. He's like, "Dude, I gotta talk to you." <laughs> and um, and I, I was like, I always have like a laugh when people like talk. I'm just like, everything's funny to me. And he's like, "Dude, I was like down in the basement, and uh." <laughs> Apparently, like, I, I, oh there's, like, a pile of shit. Like, it's like an anthill. It's, like, so it's, like, really, it's, like, two feet tall. Like, and you, you did this? Like, you've been doing this? And I'm, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have. And he's, like, that's fucking sick. What's wrong, what's wrong with you? And I was, like, wait a minute. Who told you? Oh and he was, like, God, Rob told me. And I was, like. Dude, what? <laughs> and then and then I'm like, I'm dude, like, what? I was like, I was like, am I in trouble? Like, am I in trouble for this? Like, the, like this is this is something you. This can't, is what I'm in trouble for. Yeah, this is not a normal <laughs> thing. This is not like an average thing. So then, this one guy. You fired me. I'm gonna tell you, you fucking crush shop carts, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and, I'm know, gonna tell him you show shop carts, man. <laughs> you're, you're, you're you. Well, Dustin show, was man. off that day. He was off. Oh, he was. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't there. He would have loved it. Like he would have fucking. He, he would have like. He would like, oh man, this is sick. Yeah. <laughs> he probably would have like elbowed me or something. Like he would have done something. But like. Oh my god. Um, Jesus Christ. But anyway, this guy Tom, who was like super overweight and really creepy. He was sending nudes to like the girls that worked there, and um, 
I'm dead ass. Like, like, this place was like, nuts. Before Should Snapchat. Show about yeah, it. like like pre and like, post. No, like, that costed 70 cents to send a picture. Oh, it was, it was at that time. It was wow. SMM text. You know, or, it was like, oh you know, or he was using fucking Except fax this, it'll charge you. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah, he was sending, he was sending like, you know, no. he was sending like a... No. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he was sending chode pics to like all the chicks that worked there. Oh my gosh! Like, yeah. um, but anyway, he was the manager hot. that day, and this was like a Wednesday or a Thursday. It wasn't you know cause Tuesday is when it was action. Tuesday is when I like let it go. There's action on Tuesday. There was nobody there. Like I would skate. I'll tell you what. I would hey, skate on the Tuesday, you know, like, it was fun. Tuesday <laughs> shit pile day. Meet me on a Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, so so what anyway, you eat? What you eat though? So day. what? What were you eating though? Like you never answered um, that part. Like Taco Bell, BK, you know, oh, like all the good stuff. Gnarly. Um, right. any, anything that I would just steal while I was working, you know, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> epic. it was epic. And, uh, but anyway, so then Tom was the manager that night and we had a discussion and, um, he was like, basically like either like you're going to be fired right on the spot or you're going to, you're going to clean this up <laughs> right now. Nah, you didn't clean that. And I was like, oh, like no. and he's Absolutely like, and you're going to clean this up with your bare hands. Absolutely. But I was not. just like, no, and I was like, nah, dude, no. like just fire me right now. Like, I don't care. Like just, I'm like, no, I'm just like quit. 16, I don't give a fuck. You, know, like, you kind of did yeah. quit with that. And he was like, <laughs> that's that's like, the, and then like you already quit. quit. What are you quit. talking oh, about? I, I was already, I was already. He, he gave you an option to keep your job. Yeah, I, think I was already like, out. Out. like, I was already. It was like hole. humiliation or <laughs> leave. <laughs> yeah, no. like I was getting paid seven fifteen an hour. Like I was already out. <laughs> I think they call that quiet um, quitting now. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's a oh quiet man. quit. It was Wait, a quiet you get, quit. Did you get didn't put your discount? two. No, you put your two weeks in. You put your two feet in. Oh yeah, I put my two feet in. You know? <laughs> no, there was no need for an employee that's discount. Right. You Took a sec. Everything. It was a hit though. Everything was stolen. <laughs> we, used to sell, we used to sell like packs, you know, like cartons of cigarettes out of this place. It was crazy. Oh my but anyway, God. Um, so then he basically told me he's like, "Well, I'm gonna like let everyone know," and I was like, oh, "I didn't, I didn't want to look like too weird to everybody." So like, I agreed to clean it up. Too weird. I don't want to be too weird, yeah. <laughs> Not too weird. <laughs> I don't want to be too weird. <laughs> Not too weird. Dude. Right. All so right. then, basically, I just took a plastic bag <laughs> around my hand, and I picked it up. Oh, you did clean it. I did clean it up. Um, what a and, scholar. Um, and Noah, my best friend, and hopefully he, he will see this. He lives out in Portland, Oregon, by the way. Hopefully. Shout out to Noah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Noah. Love Ooh-y. you. Um, he, had, he filmed this. America. He filmed me cleaning Fuck it up. <laughs> And Where's that at? Can you send yeah, that to us right that. now? It's, it's on a flip phone. Like I don't think he still has it. Oh, uh, 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 maybe. Um, maybe. If he does, then it's just the proof is there. It but is just in a landfill somewhere. If we could throw yeah. that in here, that would be civilization. So the moral of the Fucking story: twelve bit. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. The moral of the story is: I got away with creating a shit pile and <laughs> cleaning up with my bare hands, and then I stuck it. I stuck it out with the company until they went bankrupt. Oh my god. It's and pretty amazing. Keep your job. And then I wrote on I was going to say, yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty amazing it awesome. that they didn't fire you. Yeah. It seriously was. So that, here's the question, Bobby. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Yeah, sounds, like it. <laughs> it sounds like it. Sounds like it. Because I now have this story that I'll be telling. That's epic. To your grandkids. Everybody. Yeah, everyone. And everybody and I tell the story. And he kept his job. <laughs> and he kept it. Yeah, and you I, always got to end And I, I kept, kept my job. job. This is. I, I thought about it at the moment. You I was like, I could just walk away, but no, I want the so job. So the lesson shit is, the is basement. start a shit pile at your job. You can do anything. And then you can do anything. You can do anything. From that point on. <laughs> and I... And I <laughs> but what happened with you getting arrested shitting off of a post office? Oh. <laughs> well, that was a little bit of a white lie. And it was actually... I What's was a filming. black lie? Was it a black... No. I was. <laughs> What's so a black guy? I, I flipped it because I wanted to keep things a little. I wanted no. to keep things PG at the time. Uh, oh no, no, I got you, I got you. But now that you. now that I told this story, like it's not PG it doesn't anymore. Even go, don't even we're like we're like PG thirteen, maybe close to R. Now this is PG thirteen now. Apparently, yeah. the, the post PG-13 office is crazy. The post office truck shitting. We were playing Grand Theft Auto. I mean, what are we talking yeah. about? Yeah, but they at least rated an M for mature. Oh, you're right. They rated it, and the parents had to get it. Now you get Grand Theft Auto, and you're it like, It wasn't 12. just online. My mom yeah. was chill, though. I got it. Yeah, my mom got me the Grand Theft Auto, too. <laughs> Shout out to no, fucking New Jersey mom. Wait, Shout out back. to those chill moms who bring got their Pokemon. kids. GTA Grand Theft Auto, when they, they were 11 years <laughs> old, yeah. and didn't That's know what theft smiles. meant. <laughs> Grand yeah, Theft Auto. I got GTA by game sharing it with my homie. I was telling Bobby, so my parents... Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, bring back Pokemon because you were talking about that earlier. My parents would let me watch Pokemon. Am I always talking about Pokemon? 
No, no, no. No, it's not no, a, no, it's not no, a bad so, thing. No. I just you know? we were talking about it. It's not a bad so, thing. <laughs> Actually, you fucking nerd, bro. We're talking about you fucking dork. <laughs> no, they wouldn't let me watch it because they Why? thought it was too violent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And bro, like, they don't even die. Other. This fucked me up for like 30 minutes at they a bonfire faint. when we were talking one time. There was something <laughs> around, there was something like that. I yeah, remember us talking faint. about they that. They just faint. Well, it's just they capture the animals. No, but their eyes spin yeah, and right. stuff. <laughs> yeah, they're fainting, though. Yeah. No, yo, Taylor, the deaths are off screen. It's fucked up. <laughs> yo, can you imagine, though, if Ash would have just like... Like basically raped Pikachu with the Thunderstone to make him a Raichu. Did you hear? Did you see the releases? No wait. Did you guys see the releases? Like the the real releases of like the origins of some of these Pokemon. No. No. Oh my god. Some of the archives got released of like where some Pokemon come from, and some of them were like who made our half human half like a human fucked Pokemon. So it is like like a like no, like like and like Mr. Mime and like Jinx and those Mr. like fucking it's weird ones. Oh, Jinx. Jinx was definitely it's from a sex It's ones that you yeah, wouldn't yeah, even expect, about. dude. It's, it's one some weird kind of Dance, you're telling too. me that Pokemon were just all genetically Ditto? Oh, fuck. This. Ditto just Damn, seems dude. like a, a big nut. Dude, I, I'm not even going to go into detail. Just know that like when this podcast is done, we'll, I'll show you guys. Like, I, it's <laughs> yes. a video that explains you guys. Do your own research. Pokemon are kind of fucked up. Do your own research. Do your own research. Pocket monsters. Pocket monsters. Pocket monsters. Gotta catch them all. So shout out to everybody who makes noise for Bobby Shocks. One one minute story. Dude, it was like 30 seconds story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, I got to one up that. You don't have to one up. I got to one up on Bobby's. It's all one, remember? Everything's one. There ain't no one up or down. It's all one. I definitely don't have anything nearly as crazy as... Bobby's story. No, but, so remember when but, I said what's what's something crazy that happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, wait, I'm the crazy one. And it was more one. about... I'm like, the crazy yeah, one, was, he, yeah. he needed to make so, it established. Yeah. That, yeah. Right. So, but, like, it's something that happened to you, or... Some of my craziest moments in my life, as you guys know, very clumsy. Definitely clumsiest <laughs> member of the band. Like, I mean, like, trip on, oh, like, did every you fall crack. Somewhere, like, yeah, dude, yeah, I could fall on air. Like, yeah. And you yeah, fell a couple I days mean, ago. I did. Hanging out with the boys. Yeah, we were hanging out. I slipped down the stairs, didn't I? Yeah, you he, were very, put a smile on you. He didn't fell, I? <laughs> he fell down every single step of my attic. He just thump, 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 thump. I'm good. I'm good. You know? <laughs> and we're like, you're good? You're like, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> so you fell down what? Um. So when I was, well, no, I was just saying my clumsiness has brought a lot of my craziest endeavors in my life. And I'll never forget, it was like eight years old, like hanging out with some friends. It was a snow day. We went to our school, and there was this really fucking sick slope that you'd go down. But there's a fence at the bottom. So, like, you got to jump off, like, you know, at least, like, 30 feet before you get close to the fence. So, you know, my friends and I were, like, there. We're like, yo, this is going to be sick. And I race my one friend, and he beats me, but he doesn't jump off, and he hits the bottom. And then I'm going real fast. I'm fucking, like, I'm sledding down this hill. You know what I'm saying? And then I don't jump off either, so we collide. I push him under the fence, and then all I realize then is I am literally pinned, like neck under the fence. I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't oh, breathe. Shit. So I'm like, I'm like crying out to my friends. I'm like, yo, oh, I can't breathe. Help me! And then fucking eight year olds, they're just like, we gotta go find somebody. So they just start I running away. Yeah, they ah. fucking go look for somebody. And I'm like, what are you? Meanwhile, doing? like you're like, I'm like you're dying. probably suffocating. I'm literally yeah. starting to black out and shit. So eventually, I have a friend, smart friend. I forget which one it was out of the group of five people we were with, but. He's smart, and he's like, I probably should, like, help him get out of the fence. So he lifts the fence up, and then I'm able to get out. Legends. My homie, his, like, ear kind of got, like, like, not fully ripped off, but, like, you could, like, pull it because it, like, clipped, like, the bottom of his ear. Damn. Yeah. Did so, you piss yourself? No, That's I didn't. wild. But I was definitely scared. That's how you know you're close yeah. to the end. Right. That's wild. Right, when your organs just release. Sounds like yeah. some Jersey yeah. shit, too. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. But you know what? One thing that was pretty reckless that I used to do, I'm not going to say the company that I worked for where I did it at, but we, so drug I fair? worked at a, huh? <laughs> Dr- Wayf- this drug fair. Wayfair? Actually, no, this is my experience at drug fair. We both this worked at drug uh, fair. This was Cherry yeah. Hill drug fair? Cherry Hill drug fair. Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. Right. But um, I worked at a biorepository. There's lots of dry ice. And in the big annex where you have like hundreds of liquid nitrogen tanks where you store the samples, there's these big like fans that are like at the top of the ceiling. So a coworker of mine Keep wants, it from like bellowing up I it just gets hot in there like cause it's kinda like a warehouse it so, gets hot where the ice is 
Yeah, believe it or not. Like, the tanks are cool, but the actual room can get very, very Oh, because you're yeah. outside of where the So there's, like, a lot of fans room. and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so my friend, or my coworker... <laughs> there's a lot of fans, dude. Yeah, there, right, there are. <laughs> he would take dry ice, and then he would throw it up so that it would hit, like, the fans, and then just fucking shoot around the room, and then you hear, oh. like, ping, 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 ding, ding, ding. Off the, off the tank and shit. He ended up leaving. I, I love I want to sample that, funny. dude. It sounds like this would be a beat. <laughs> It was mad wow, that's how, that exactly what you did. Ding ding, that's gonna ding, be a yeah. drop. No, there you <laughs> go. Ding 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 ding, that's ding, a drop. ding ding. You better sample it. Drop, drop. I better get royalties on that sample. Epic but stories. I did dude. it, and it was the best experience you of my fucking life. You reverted to an eight-year-old story, which is so <laughs> wholesome. Dude, Aww. I almost died. You never know, cool. forget something like that. That's crazy. You Especially were, like, when you almost held died and it was under the gate. Your fault. Like, like 1, no, your like fault. this is crazy. I can't believe yeah. my boys just fucking left me on a <laughs> <laughs> like under an, an avalanche could have happened or wow. something, dude. That's so fucked up. That pisses me off. What's their names? I don't remember. Say their names right now. <laughs> I don't remember. Find their Facebooks. I'll put it in here. Dude, I think the PTSD like blocked their them. names. Harass them. Let's dox them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But, uh, no, I, I think they probably grew up to be good people. I hope they learned their lesson. See what I did yeah. there? I said, let's dox them, and then I said, gosh, just said a God. Look like, how polite <laughs> I am. Right. <laughs> so great. They probably got decapitated. I can't oh, wait dudes. to hear, I can't wait to see what the fuck Taylor is <laughs> Me too. Oh, I'm excited for this. What's uh -oh. the craziest thing that happened to you uh -oh. or that you did? You could pick. <laughs> <laughs> dox <laughs> yourself. There's new parameters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You talk about your eight year old self. This is yeah. white male. My eight year old self. Docs yourself. No. It's white male. I, I think we'll go with the... Uh, I took a trip to New Orleans two years ago, mm -hmm. and um, the flight was delayed for a few hours, so I'm already all disappointed a little bit. Oh, that would, for that would fuck with my energy. Just, just like, hey, like, fuck, sitting at the airport, stuck at the airport. Did you eat at shit. the airport? What? Eat. What'd you eat at the airport? <laughs> Yo, I, I, I didn't. I Yo, I didn't get food because I remember landing and being starving. Like half the reason I'm going to New Orleans to is eat to that eat some shit. good you're food. Right, you're right. You're yeah, right. seafood boy. Yeah, Yo, right, the first right. thing I got was some gumbo. Ooh, yeah, nice. So you made the like the red little mini lobster thing. You know, and the bartender oh. that I ordered from actually went to Rutgers in like 2003 or some shit. Yeah. Like, See, like, that a little homie. I was like, oh shit, this is crazy. We'll taste the home. But, but before wait, so I wait, eat... is gumbo, is that like just sausage or is that... No, it's like a stew kind of over rice with like sausage and shrimp. It's not the one... Hey, I'm gumbo. Like, oh, yeah. it's not Corn. a seafood boil. I'm thinking of a seafood It's like boil. seafood yeah, it's like and sausage. Like yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 It's mad like funny. I know someone who went to New Orleans like, well, and they were dumb, ordering dumb, gumbo. Dumb, dumb, dumb. And someone asked, gumbo they were like, does this have... You. <laughs> oh, shit. Like, oh, shit. No, wait, what just happened? We just missed something. <laughs> they were like, wait, we just missed a wholesome moment. Damn, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, so someone was ordering Did gumbo. you guys just like power up like a Power Ranger right there? Yeah. That's exactly what we, I just we, mighty morphed. Yeah, I, we, I just cut it off. Oh, damn, I feel so bad. Oh, and we powered down. Yeah, but I feel bad. I unplugged it. Fuck, I unplugged it for you, we'll dude. Go back, yeah, we'll go back story. to the beginning. We'll go <laughs> yeah. back to, like, uh, where the story actually is. So we're on this. The flight's all delayed. And I'm waiting now. And then we get on. I'm talking to the girl next to me on the flight. And we're, like, talking. We've never had drinks on a plane before. So I'm like, okay, weird. Let's get a few drinks. So we're just hanging. Then I'm like, what do you do for work? She's like, oh, I'm in sex work. I was like, <laughs> oh, what? And I was oh, like, what? New Orleans. I was like, okay. Like, is going from there? New is like No, that. but it's known for it. And, like, coming from New York there, you're like, okay. Like, you're probably, like, doing some pretty crazy shit. Mm. Like, you might Did you end up being one of her clients? No. Nah. Nah. Was, 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 was <laughs> nah, he said it all sad. <laughs> 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 so we were chilling. And, uh, like, I was going to Uber back to where I'm staying. And she's like, oh, where are you staying? And I was like, oh, I'm around here. And she, or this is where I'm going to be staying. And she's like, oh, I could just take you. My friend's picking me up. So then her friend, who's also a sex worker, came, scoops. And, oh, they're working. They got Taylor <laughs> in their sights, oh, dude. Yeah. They see a little <laughs> little slim Taylor up in New Orleans. They're like, he don't know nothing about this we're gumbo. Now, now we're just hating. Talking about gumbo. We're hanging for a second. We're driving like five minutes into this car ride maybe less the chick driving just pulls out this canister and they just start cracking whip it oh just so this is before like uber and shit though right no no There's... uber i i could have ubered 
But so, you just got John. You got yeah, a better so experience. Like, I, yeah, I met these people. They're like, and yo, they we can take you. And they started cracking whippets they're while like, they were driving. Yeah, they're like, oh we could take you. And then God. they start cracking whippets. And I'm like, fuck. Should I have paid for an Uber? Or is this, <laughs> or is this a good story? Maybe, a, maybe a wedding ring you should have paid for or something. Should I pay to survive? You know? So they're just cracking fucking whippets this whole drive. We go to a bar, hang for a little, and then they just drop me off. But... It was it was fucking crazy that the first people I meet in New Orleans or sex are prostitutes. You are what you attra- you attract what you are or something whatever that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, twenty dollars, twenty dollars. You are what you eat. Goddamn, whip it good. Taylor, Taylor, is this your calling into sex oh. work? I think that Taylor used to be called a sex time. worker now. <laughs> He already is, I think. <laughs> hey man, you know, it would happen. I don't think he knows what he's doing. Like, what's what happening? happens in Vegas? <laughs> what's happening to you? Yeah. Uh, what happens in Vegas? <laughs> you knew what they were doing. All right, so, oh, so, all right, so, what happened? so where did they That's take so you to? No, they, they just took me to where I was staying, and that was the end of and the night. We, yeah, we just chilled you didn't a do bar. a whip it with them. No. You I didn't, didn't even. Say, hey, I had never done a whip it before, and Did I was like, "I'm not it? gonna start not now. No. No. Not, not <laughs> another. Not in foreign land. No, no. Don't start. Don't I start with hungers. Not in foreign <laughs> land. I had a, Especially I had after you ate gumbo, pen. you could never know what would happen. I, I was sharing that. the dab pen. They liked that, but <laughs> <laughs> that was about the extent of. of uh, How old are these chicks? When was this? Two years ago? Yeah, this is 2022. So, oh, so two years after COVID. Yeah, this is Ooh, August 2022. Yeah. Oh. How old were they? That story could have gone so many ways. Yeah. I'm happy you're alive. Yeah, she Cheers was great. That. <laughs> right? Uh, that could have gone a lot of ways. How old were they? Yeah. I want to say she was... the. F- her friend was older. The chick I was sitting next to on the flight was like within a year or two. She was on the plane? Age. Yeah, the first the girl, girl I met. The girl drove you? No, that was her friend who picked us up. But oh, so you the know girl, already. The girl I thought you met them in New no, Orleans. No, I met the girl on the flight. Oh, that no, that's worker. technically New Orleans, right? You met well, her, on, I met the her on, the on the way on the way there. Yeah, and then uh, her friends. You met her, her in, friend picked met her, her up. In, or her friend yeah, picked us up. You probably met her like in Tennessee, technically. Yeah, it was yeah. Probably, like, like, <laughs> where, no, it was probably we like Maryland. Space, you know? Yeah, yeah like, it's like a that. short yeah, flight. You got to do still a guest counts. show. Still counts. I should. Yeah, tell her to come through. Yo, she actually did tell me some good venues to go to. I was like, yo, what are some places to see live music in town? Bro, I guarantee you, the girl that gave you a ride doing tippets knows. Where to go? Yeah, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I was like, listen to her. So I was so like, where do they have <laughs> like? Yo, we just actually, she should, our should be our manager. Where yeah. she at? Right I was now. like, where do they have music outside of? <laughs> She's jazz. probably on a flight right motherfucking now. And she was like, up. oh, this venue, these venues do more experimental shit and whatnot, and they were right, playing they like do? some cool stuff. Yeah, no, that's important because like uh, most of these venues that do dance music don't do rap, so like I'm connecting into that like with certain people that I'm mm-hmm. connected with and we have sets that are connected and then I'll do like three, four songs right? Got it. without without it even being noticed you know the genres can be meshed It's that's what it's supposed to happen that whole- we have to mesh these crowds man we can't we can't do like specifics anymore we man we got so we have to mesh shows yeah. with different crowds and different it works genres, different ba- it fucking works EDM really jam yeah, metal, they just don't know what they're gonna like until they see dude I like, a lot that's of people the thing, like dude, I, I, the thing that I've learned is like rappers when they see instruments they yeah. freak the fuck out like they become the biggest they actually, fans yeah. the you, rappers EDM become too. EDM like EDM and, cause the DJs yeah. DJs and rappers become the biggest fans of youths people like yeah. y'all and like Peaks and Valleys for example so like when a rapper knows that I rap, but then they see me drum, yeah. and then they see me drum and rap, and then they, they're like, like, "Yo, I want to collab now." It's, it's, it's like go. this Game isn't over. what we do it for. We don't do it for it's, that. We do it to create and express. Yeah. But like that understanding of like how much work it takes to try and play the bass and sing, or try to play the synth, or to do the off tempo five four things. All that mm-hmm. shit is so appreciated. It's especially by rappers because they're lyricists and they're looking for the space to Mm -hmm. sit in. So if you collab a little bit of a rap show with a rock show, dude, it's a so fun. And And then if you bring EDM into that, because we need the dance, we got to dance, dude. There's no disco bands. We need new disco is EDM. That's like how I look at it. Folks, we do a collaboration with a friend. Disco disco music. We do a collab with a friend of ours, and the project's called Sagatos. Never really thought about it that way. It's Chris on bass, and then Taylor does his thing, whatever he does. And (laughs) it's just experimental. And then drums, and then Bobby will sometimes play keys and everything, and it's it's hip-hop. 
No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Playing with a rapper. So it's more like, like boom bat vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And right. he's he's one of the most. Shout out to Freddie. Yeah, love and that. if you do Freddy. that, if you do that at any you, of my shows, like, you guys get like that can be an hour in itself. Like mm-hmm. that's the thing about underground shows versus like venues. Like yeah. the underground, we can do what we want. Right. Yeah, and we pulled it off at that. venues, yeah. but then enough. we, we want have, the lights. Yeah. Like yeah, we'll yeah, build, we we've filled yeah, both nice acts as big, different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, and, and the full sound. Yeah, I was gonna say the big full that. sound system. Yeah. The, but um, I mean, even though no one was there, our, our set at uh, the recent festival we played was legendary. Where? Yeah. What festival? It was, well, it was basically it was like Metamorph a before after party for the fish festival that was happening in Delaware. So yeah. it was wasn't too like many people. The crew people was hanging there. around. But the crew, like the stage crew and everything, it was a really mm-hmm. cool spot. But we did Salgatos and a guest of it, and it was really awesome. Do you have anything recorded? I think I, there might Freddy be some got, phone clips. Yeah, 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 there's some yeah, like yeah, phone clips. Stuff, so. <laughs> Roll the clip. All right, dude. So, <laughs> the craziest turn. Thing oh, craziest that's ever happened. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed on them a little bit more. One minute. But off the top of my head. um... There was a time where I was on vacation with my family and I almost got us all kicked out of the hotel for throwing water balloons at <laughs> random people <laughs> off like the top floor balcony. Yo, yeah, that shit probably hurts Such so bad. Such an innocent ass. That's yeah, 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 yeah. But one. that's yeah. enough so to get your fucking dad's face oh, punched. But like, oh, like yeah. that's there was, enough there was to one, like... Th- no, there was one guy who yeah. like got really, really tight Piss. about it that, like from down on the street or whatever. Because he thought like I, the water balloons were filled up. I let it else. go. I th- I would like to think I let that way, go. Like I don't know. I don't I guess think I, I would I was though. Sneaky, but like he saw where I was, you know. Oh, Somebody you was a little kid. And, like, I'm trying to imagine you. How old were you? Were, I don't know. Probably like ten or some shit. No, he came out. Oh, yeah. like this. I need to see a picture of what you looked like at ten to know if I'd be pissed or not. Yeah, I need a ten year old photo. Yeah, we'll put it up there. What the fuck did you look like? Would you be pissed? That's probably why. I okay, say so. What happened? There's, that, like one of our albums. I mean, we like eight year old pictures. Sorry, cut you off. I say the the manager happens. just the manager just came up and threatened us and and you know threatened and said you my, guys my, gonna get out of here. My mom like talked him Where down. Were you? Probably. Where were you on Florida? This was like down the shore somewhere, the Jersey Shore. <laughs> oh, a Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was probably like Dude, it wasn't it was probably even Florida. Like, oh, if I had to man. guess, although it could have been maybe Virginia Beach, but. If I had to guess, it was either probably there or like Wildwood. We used to go there all the time. That's funny. Wait, I could see Wildwood it? being assholes. It was like a That's big building. Like a high, high, how <laughs> high? Like honest, oh, yeah, was it a hard it, it was probably It yeah. was probably like between that set, seven to ten it stories <laughs> up. Like, it was ten? Pretty, <laughs> it's probably like... I was, all right, realistically, <laughs> maybe maybe because I was little, I'm thinking it was higher than most. Let's see, it was probably like six to eight. Six stories is a lot, dude. Oh, my God. Six stories. Add like 20 miles an hour to the blue. you got to throw a penny in there to add something. I do know that like <laughs> that's early that's a long time ago which means that like the new balloons they made them thinner so that they don't hurt when they smack right those, those people, were, ones hurt. people were pegging <laughs> well, they used to be able to throw them you at people sure and they'd, they'd, they'd stay like fucking just filled with water <laughs> that's wild those older Yo, balloons they were, they were made nuts, Chris. Uh, I did not thicker know you did that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's could, what I'm saying. So you could fill them with cocaine and shove them up your ass and it wouldn't leak back to the poop right well, you know, back uh, in the day, <laughs> right. they were, it was better <laughs> why, why am I, like, <laughs> anal retentive? This turned into a therapy what? session. What's wrong with Folks, Back in the day, know. Bobby was a drug mule. Learning, I don't like Diddy. Learning new things about, Bo- You're a about drug Bobo. You're right? <laughs> Reason, right. You did it a few times. <laughs> that's so great. just a couple jobs you took on. Drugs? That's nah, what, the, the, Bobby, the that's what prison will do for you. <laughs> it'll get me, uh, it'll get me repeating things. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, definitely shit. the best way that's to smuggle fun. drugs. Balloon. Uh, in the ass. That's right. Yeah. It's got to be thick, though. It's gonna be I'd like rather just do them. You know? Let's do them and hop yeah, on the, the boat. Yeah, the kinds of drugs that I like to do, you don't Fuck really have that. to smuggle like that. Yeah. So True. Do you need it that that's bad? Kind of just at. do it before you get on the boat. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then you can enjoy the boat ride. Yeah, turn the car on before you get in. Yeah. You know? Something like I that. I feel like once you start putting stuff up your ass like that to smuggle it around, then like... Mistakes have been made, and you need to re- <laughs> yeah. and you need to you reevaluate. <laughs> like you've already violated yourself and everybody else. You know? Yo, I do that. Has turned, you have turned I into a product. Like right. to put a balloon like, in your ass. With, like like whether you're just being products. used by like, some like, gang members or you're the way too deep into help. some addiction. You know, you know? shit, yeah. like, like people that are like <laughs> actually smuggling shit. Doesn't it like break sometimes? Like, yeah, the bags will be like you know, oh yeah, die and then you just and you just like OD and they die. Yeah, they OD on the back of like a train sometimes. 
somewhere. You know, <laughs> the plants just grow like that. They just die the, like the, that. The, the, the train crew just like throw them off the somewhere. fucking side of the train somewhere. So, do you guys think this is a valid yeah. career path for me? What, Drug is, smuggling? Yeah. No, but the cool ice is. Yo, Andy Boo. Do something with that ice. The, uh, with the ice. Right. The, ice yeah. That, yeah. the ice that sweats. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I totally would look at you and not think that you're doing anything crazy. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I wouldn't be a suspect. Right, you're just a just you're just a happy go lucky guy. Stories. Yeah, little do you know, I'm smuggling like you know a pound of drugs in me. In you, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Buttholes are just extra pockets. So <laughs> if I've had, oh my god, <laughs> extra pocket. <laughs> Jesus Quote of the day. <laughs> Buttholes are extra pockets. <laughs> we should make that a lyric in a song. I agree. Yeah. Oh, this is how we make our music a lot. No, that'll nice. make everyone have a bad trip. Everyone will instantly... <laughs> that was actually going to be one of my other stories. A bad trip? Yeah, it was like more recently. What but happened? when we were all living together, there was one time where... Well, Bobby wasn't involved because Bobby doesn't really Why do was it a bad trip? Days. What caused it? But we... I mean, we just... What we do you took think acid and then like... I, there was, I think, like, you had to pick up your phone or somebody had to get their phone yeah, from, from some the phone shop, shop, like, downtown. I that. And so we went on, like, a little... You had to leave. We went on, like, a little You left the journey. safe... You yeah. made him leave? <laughs> the safe space? <laughs> Bro, I was tripping, too. The perfect little home that you <laughs> yeah. guys built together? You <laughs> we, left We went on like a little the, journey around town. You left town. the igloo. Whoa, 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 whoa. How is this all on me? It's no, no. Somehow it's your fault. The ass was open. We all went around and, like... You guys yeah. turned you know, and you blew out the candles the and you left the... You were walking around New Brunswick and the streets were just Stop fucking talking. shifting oh, around and shit. Like, I couldn't imagine and I was just having an anxiety attack. No, one more thing, one no, more thing no, about it's buttholes. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's fun. Yeah, I've one done more it thing a about lot. Buttholes. You know New Brunswick Venmo. isn't freaky? What was that? Brunswick? It doesn't creep you out? Nah, no. I'm used to it. It's I'm not here. I'm not depends on the headspace that you're, you're in. to me. There's a lot more crackheads than it there were It depends on where you are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I was going to say, one last thing about buttholes. My Venmo is actually buttholes one. Yeah, so one, if you want to just for the, for the band, yeah, that's so the, the band, it's all the band Venmo. Is, if you so guys want to host and shows, I'm like, yo, it's like you, you want the Venmo? And they're like, yeah, I can give it to me. I'm like, it's buttholes one. Yeah, if anybody <laughs> out there wants to send us money, I actually buttholes. had someone send me ten extra dollars because they thought it was great. They're like, yo, this is fucking legendary. Like, you gotta get a new card because you can draw on it and you can just like write it. Just write buttholes. Yeah, it should be like a vortex. <laughs> <laughs> but a zodiac and circle. Buttholes one. Thank you. It should just be a really, <laughs> really, you know? really zoomed in circle. close up of a butthole. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, like we don't have to talk about buttholes so anymore. bad. We, we, like, we can move so on. So like blurry. All right. <laughs> so, so yeah, we've been working. On, <laughs> <laughs> we've been working we on this new album. <laughs> <laughs> and um, like I said, so the bad trip. Like, the bad trip. No, yeah, yeah. The uh, I mean, the bad trip. Yeah, we were just wandering around New Brunswick. The streets were just shifting around for me. My uh, my inner monologue was just becoming reality, and it was. But they were all just fucking time. around right in front. Yeah, of Yeah, I think everybody else was having a good time. You think they were? Well, I don't know what their perception was, it, dude. But my perception they were was just it. Like, like Riddle Street was Dill Street. I don't know. I feel bad. <laughs> I think, I, think I had a good time that day. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Yeah, no, no. I think <laughs> everyone <laughs> thinks they had every, a good time. I think everybody else was was fine, and they were having a good Acid time. Acid is so weird. I, was I love like, Yo, I need to go back to the house oh, yeah. right now, or mm-hmm. I'm gonna completely did you, lose Yeah. My yeah. Did you make that executive decision? Did you? Yeah, yeah. And everybody, okay, you okay, know, they shepherded me back. Good. Good. Everything was. You're like, I got to go. Tell my mom that I did acid. I gotta go home right now. Right now. Okay, so what happened there? What happened there? Oh wait, d- is that it? Is that the story? <laughs> yeah, that was that was one of the other. Okay, ones so what of. happened though? What was the moment where you were like, "I need to go"? Oh well, so yeah, what so psychologically. Like, so you know happened? how you like? I mean, I I kind of have like some social anxiety, but you know how mm. everybody has like you just have like that inner monologue going on yeah. all the time where you're yeah. just like thinking about random shit. So yeah. basically, what was happening was like I, everybody else was talking about whatever they must have been talking about. Mm. But, like, my perception of reality was that, like, they were they were my inner monologue. And so, like, you know, like, Andy would say something, but it would just, like, be my thoughts that he was, like, speaking out loud. And then, like, you know... <laughs> so he was just like... And, and then it would... Damn, but it would, like, transfer to, like, other people because, like, somebody else would start talking mm. and I don't know what they were talking about, but I was just hearing, like, my thoughts, but, like, they were speaking to me. You were so me, connected. And I was just, like, freaking out. <laughs> you were so and, connected yeah. to them that you thought... <laughs> or I was so that's, disconnected that's, that I was just, like, only hearing my own thoughts. Was being, that sounds like more connection. Even though, even though they were saying else. some other yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, that sound, that's what I'm saying. That sounds more like an interface happening. I don't know. You know what I mean? But it was, like, it was weird to me out. Do you think it was intuition? <laughs> do you think you were just obviously you were high? But like, do you like what do you what, if you could pinpoint it now sober? What do you think Had to be that was shop. happening there? What do you what do you like really think was happening? 
Like, I don't do, know. do do you think that because because the way you just described it is that like, like I said, I think it was like an anxiety thing where it was just like whatever I was thinking was like everybody else was like talking about it out loud or something. <laughs> oh like, no, you know no, no you were tripping yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, were just talking yeah. about what you Weird, were listening yeah. to. <laughs> no, no, yeah, they were just talking. You were about just listening. Conversations. Conversations. Like they were just like walking around having a normal conversation, uh, but I was like just like tripping like crazy. Yeah, just I was just like in my own little moment. And Chris was just like, oh. and it was you know, like, yeah, why yeah. are we going on a fucking walk to this? <laughs> do we yeah, all but like that's like, like what you would have been saying though, if that's what I was thinking, and that's what yeah, was freaking yeah. me out. Was like do my we thoughts all, were what yeah, you guys crazy. were saying out loud. Do we all have like insane like LSD moments that we could all express? I do. Yeah, yeah. we all do. For well, we sure. didn't mention we built that igloo. So when you got home, how did it? How did it end? How did it? I just like told everybody that like because like I said like what they were like to me what they were saying out loud was what I was thinking in my head and so I just told them that they all had to leave and I like sat in my room and just like had to like come back to reality you physically first. say it. you were like <laughs> no no I, I think I literally did say that I was like yo like because they were all just asking me if I was okay wait, wait, and I was wait, like wait. yo I just like need all you guys I to chill. just like go away for a sec I, dude I like being <laughs> alone when I'm on psychedelics I prefer to be alone straight yeah. up because I use that time to like really dig yeah. in shit that I you know you never know where your brain's gonna take you whether it's shrooms or acid because shrooms is more body it depends on what you get same with acid but sometimes like acid just sits you down and smacks the way I describe it yeah Acid sits you down, smacks you in the face and says this is what you need to learn right now right I mean maybe that's shrooms what is like I don't know. hey I, I don't want to do that right now I, c- I could go over here if I want like shrooms you can kind of pick where you want to like dive it's into the opposite sometimes shrooms is like a family you would gathering. say that dude <laughs> you, you, you ask dude it does react everything ask, reacts with yeah, people differently me, though yeah. for everything me, reacts. I can't control shrooms as much but acid feels like something I'm in way more control of but it's like sure. hyper dude, absolutely I but it's like I hyperactive you know what's crazy is yo, like acid all... acid is the kind of thing where yo I did this once I tried listening to two songs at the same time I'll try to figure out acid. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, like I have two, two different yeah. songs. In, like, you hit play at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tracks. yeah, yeah. in headphones. That probably falls. What, you right, what songs were they? I don't remember. <laughs> Damn, I, I would, I would do it right acid. now. Relax, it, right. it was the dumbest shit. I got, like, 30 seconds into it, and I was like, this is fucking retarded. How much acid did yeah, I do? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It, information comes in the left ear a fucking millisecond quicker than the right ear already. And it's, like, different shit. Like Whoa. completely unrelated. Yeah, it was dumb. That's hilarious. but it was really funny. No, I, I was like laughing at it. But what I mean, what I mean yeah. is like yeah, it was like a pure like weird mental experiment. everything. Everything with communication and everything that we do with music is vibration. Everything that moves and it's connected is complete. Literally vibrating. Nothing yeah. is completely connected. It's, it's very to the zoomed in molecule is a vibration. So like. When we make music, this is why I cherish you guys. This isn't like, oh, we're just fucking around and like getting fucked up and making stuff. Like, no, you guys are tapping into the very fabric of technology that I think is lost after the more research that I do. I think the more and more research I do on human histories, the more I realize sound was a big part of everything that controlled how things operated literally and things instruments travel. are older than written Even language. like society yeah. like politics Before words there was like everything like sound well the voice is the first that. yeah the voice is the first instrument no but there's like that, flutes but and drums that are older say, than yeah. like yeah. written language yeah. Yeah. so yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah, yeah. we were writing we were making mm-hmm. instruments mm-hmm. so that 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 form of communication we're using rhythm it sounds it sounds so like if if you took like all of us and put us on an island with a group of people that spoke another language, pick any one of them, and we had to figure shit out. And let, let, let's pick, like, an aggressive language, uh-huh. for example. Like, by I don't tone, think anyone knows By Chinese. tone, we would think they're aggressive right. on a lot of the shit that they but use. But they're not. But they're not. And it's just how that that's... When I... That's what's yeah. really interesting and to me, and that's what music does use with, with specific... Some languages don't, like... Yes, some people go up and down, yeah, exactly. and like, they stay here to like, make you feel more comfortable, and, crazy. and now some, some cultures, yeah. smiling means that you're fucking doing something shady. Yeah. So a lot of cultures, we think they're being mean, but they're like, no, like, to smile means that you're, like, you're hiding something. 
Uh-huh. Like it's mm-hmm. it's very nuanced with all this shit. So music yeah. is the one thing that if you don't see the person, if you just hear the audio, you can just feel, feel what the person is expressing. And, yeah. and this is why I love improv and jam instrumental shit. Like I'm a lyricist, so I'm always listening for instrumentals yeah. clearly, but as a drummer, what you guys do is everything that that I look for is in terms of communication and and that's what that's when people come aligned like if if you take a step back like I've you guys have thrown parties and I'm sure you guys have had moments where you took a step back and you looked at the crowd of the at your house or wherever this was and you're like look at this look at what we did and that moment of formulation when you see that connection that's literally what it is like if that was I guarantee you that form of people, if that was put on the sandboard when we do the sound thing, like with what you were happening, would be the form of the people there. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You know the, the sand on the fucking mm-hmm. thing with the sound? Yeah. I guarantee fucking T you. It's really to the molecule with this shit. So like I'm really happy you brought up the tripping story because mm-hmm. that brought you to a spot where you like, I think what happened, this is my interpretation of how deep I've got with psychedelics, I think that you were so connected with them, it freaked you out that what they were saying was everything you felt already. And you were like, okay, I already agree with you guys. I need to go, like, figure myself out for a second. I think it was, like, a situation like that. So it's like, that just meant that you were so connected, not disconnected, which is actually even more scary. It's yeah, freaky. Say, yeah, because you're literally scary. hearing your thoughts with yeah, our Yeah, because now, now you're fully yeah. in tune with the intuition, which just means, like, dude, if you but guys like, if you guys jammed at that moment, your you're, you're solo would have been how fucking overwhelming insane. It is. <laughs> think about how overwhelming it is at times to be one person. So if you're assuming the identity or taking on other people, mm-hmm. that's, that's very overwhelming. That's what we do as artists, though, as well. That's what yeah, we do no, with perspectives sure. so, yeah. and well, everything that I, we do. I that's why a, we paint. I took that's a trip to France. It was, like, two years ago, and I went there. I had You went to France? I'm French as fuck, dude. Really? I'm French, yeah. you speak? No, oy vey. <laughs> oy vey. No, that's not French. <laughs> that's, that's what my grandma says. Is that Jewish? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Yiddish. It's Yiddish. Oy vey. Oy vey. Oh, yeah. but, yeah, I was going to say, uh, uh, when I went fish. there, I went there. <laughs> Leotard. I don't know. I went there with literally no understanding of the language. I didn't even know shit about the culture other than that. Like, they lost in World War II, and then they take the Americans because of that or some shit. We, uh, all lo- we all lost in war. We did all lose. No one wins in no war. No one wins. No. No one wins in war. It's a fact. Very wise words from Taylor. But when I went there, yeah. I words. was mind blown with how I was able to still communicate with people that spoke zero English. Because most people in France, they don't speak English. I want to say like 70%. Yeah, so the tone wasn't different though? Like the tone wasn't I different? Mean, it, the delivery. culture was different. Like I, in the, in the States, like uh, we, tea the all way day, we right? have conversations, that that you know, we... They're drinking we, tea all day. Uh, did, you, did you communicate by cigarettes? Yes. Cigarettes <laughs> were a great way to communicate. Yeah. What are they drinking out there? Wine. Fucking every <laughs> uh, goddamn hour of the day. All they the work time. like four hours Yeah, what day? am I talking about? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe five, six. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what the hours of the work are, but it was really did cool. Did you do uh, I, psychedelics out there? No, I did not. But I did get to have a French drug deal. That was interesting. I picked a weed from this random dealer in the street. And it was crazy because hmm. fucking Olivia. I can friend, see you holding it down in France. I did. Dude. I was holding it down <laughs> I can in see France. You holding it down in France. I went with my yeah. homie Carter, and everyone thought we were from ZZ Top. And they'd be like, hey, ZZ Top. You know that band? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Like, your beard ain't that long. Who doesn't know ZZ Top? That's what I was thinking. But your beard's going to be like, down to no, like your knees. It's gotta but be, they're just like Americans. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> but I made so many connections there. And. It sometimes was speaking fucking three words with the people. Because you can use visual cues, eye contact. There's so many things that we can do as people to communicate. So when you go to a place like that and you see that culture, you realize even though we do have our differences, we're actually very, very similar because we're fucking human beings. That's what I was saying you earlier know? about the music. Yeah. When, you, when you look back and you look up shit, go to Google or YouTube, type in 1970s Japan fucking oh, yeah, soul no, we, live we, we band that shit. and it's there's gonna be 30 minutes of yeah. motherfuckers you've never heard of shredding the most epic shit that would be perfect to sample for hip hop that's like perfect an inspiration of like, the band for sure like way that's, better than that's anything stuff we're like very and, it, and it's interesting seeing a culture that is it's literally us and we just don't know that because we don't see it I wish we had the 
the ability for everything. Well, I mean, that's what America is. It's a mixture of all of it, obviously. That's what's really cool. Mm-hmm. Japan's but, isolated, but they've taken in from outside but really if there was well, one and they do site, a good job. Like one that website shit. that had the best of everything from I'm talking like North Korea, South Korea, Japan, Australia, well, North Korea, England, Korea. France, <laughs> every every single one. Yeah, every single one. That's what I mean. Yeah. To have, like, an outlet of, like, what's being created there. Not an algorithm that's pushed by advertisements. And that's what I miss. In the beginning, if you guys remember when the internet did first come out and everybody had a cell phone, didn't have a cell phone, and then the next year everyone had a cell phone. Yeah. And then the next year everyone had a ringtone. And then the next year, yeah, everyone, you have to record the some radio people to had your some people had internet on their phone, but some people didn't. And then the yeah. next year, some people had ringtones that these people can get. But then it's it, it, and then we jump and everyone and got then everyone I, had and then 4G. the iPhone happened. Yep. And it like it all happened in such a crazy succession. In I say from like oh eight every to year, it was like a new Madden. Every time yeah, a new Madden came out, like the graphics got like, better like, every year. It. That's what we were dealing like, with with so media. Like, yeah. like, yeah. I feel like, like, like those years. four years, it's, it's like <laughs> it, it has like it's super it's just like yeah, what the fuck? Just, yeah. like yeah. just like the products, just like the phones. Yeah. It was like just like all the products. And then 2012, it's like full on iPhone. I have an iPhone seven. It's the best one. When, when, no, when I hit that button, when it, 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 it does that little zoop. It like, vibrates right, a little four. bit when I hit it. He's right. I still um, got mine upstairs. The, the yeah, you didn't. No, the first. Yeah, I got like, like the anymore because the screen is shattered oh. to like a... Remember, it's just like those screen, spin, they had the wheel have, on it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not getting into it when I was this. Any of you guys have Razor? Probably 2005? We have four conversations going on. I'm sorry. Yeah, we do. We were just discussing. When was the first iPod? With the fucking oh, wheel. Like, that's what I'm saying. It was like oh, uh, like oh four. Four. We were saying. No, was, was and the four, iPhone five. was like oh seven. Yeah. Yeah. But before oh seven oh six, it was like that. The sidekick and shit. Yeah, with the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was year by year with our technology. And then the nineties, you got the this block. This is this is this is or the like, razor. Guys, this is insane shit that I don't think we understand and comprehend enough psychologically. It's the reason that most of us are age or like all of all right, fifty percent of our parents are fucking divorced. That's one thing, because like the the <laughs> that that whole family thing of America died with our parents. So wait, now I that think right here, being that you said that, I'm assuming it's more than fifty percent. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm being nice. It's got to be like seventy five, bro. So wait, are your parents divorced? They were divorced when I was one. Okay, your parents divorced? Yeah, mine were never together. They were never together. Mm. Your Yours parents divorced? divorced. Yeah. Your parents are still together. Yes. <laughs> yeah. My parents are still together. No way. Yeah. So that's, yes where way. are they from? Yes are way. they from America? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're almost looking right here <laughs> where we're sitting. 60, America! 40. That's 60, 40. It's almost, almost 50%. Almost completely cut in half. No, wait. That's, yeah, that's, that's one person. Us two sitting 40. here, our parents are still together. Oh, they're still together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your parents aren't. Oh, so it's more. So yeah. it's 60. I yeah. thought it was yeah. 50. So it's, it's I close. said 50. I mean, yeah. that's, that's about... That's, the, that's a random... So, that's about yeah, how so it goes, yeah. So it's like no, 55, it's 60 years. Yeah, uh, the same thing. My grandparents have been together for like over 60 years. And then my parents, they I think at this point, it's like 40. We're getting close to like 35, 40 years. Yeah. So. yeah. Got high standards. <laughs> when did they get married? I don't remember. So what did you, a, do you remember the age that your parents got no, married so at? No, my parents have a 10-year age gap, and the whole story was my dad was running for deputy mayor in Voorhees, and he was going door to door, and then my mom opened the door. And oh, then, my God. We got a shabam. fucking reality series right shabam. now, yeah. dude. We got a fucking book where you put the cover a little weird and, like, girls read this oh, when they're dude, on break I got a new book for my grandparents. Yeah. Like, my we, got, we got a story books. on our heads, There's, there's a phrase from Wait. New York Times that says, one Next for the podcast, ages. part two, yeah, your dude, dad. We're going to talk about love <laughs> stories from our heads. So, wait, so, so he met, him by not, met her by knocking on the door? Yeah. Like, yeah, and he's going to... And then my grandparents, they met because my grandfather's playing football in college, and then my grandmother intercepted the football. And then oh, wait, got, so so how old was your you, grandmother? How old do you think... Yeah. How old was your dad? <laughs> yeah, what? How old was your dad when that when when he was talking about? I want to say my mom was in her twenties. My dad was in his thirties. That sounds about right. My dad was actually married. Do you know, do you know the age of your parents when they met and got married? Yeah, um, my mom was twenty five, and my dad was uh, twenty nine. I believe. Yeah, I'm sure I don't remember the exact age. I gotta so ask your that. parents were like. Kind of like what makes sense, I guess, 
But their parents, your grandparents, were probably 18, right? Yeah, they were like 21, 20. Yeah, like yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. I, I was was get married two <laughs> years later. I was conceived in a college dorm. There you go. <laughs> nice. Did they tell you <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, yo, I remember. There was Are once, you rah-rah? There was once I was mad young, and we went rah, to rah. visit like my mom's college. And we were like hanging... And my dad was just like, you were made there. And I remember not getting oh, it. But, like, God. years that's later, so I was like, so oh, fucking funny. Fuck. You finally realized what <laughs> I was like, saying. that's a dorm. Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> that's fucking wild. Wow. <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah, you were, right, you were so conceived right funny. over there in that dorm. Yeah, pretty so much. So you both. Like, so, no, we were so literally yeah, in the 60, parking 40. lot. Like, yeah. that's I remember. 60, 40. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a big gap, dude. That's That's a lot, though. Like what is what is the point otherwise, you know? It's either yeah. you cream pie someone and you keep it or you get married and you live the rest of your lives together. <laughs> That's what we're talking about here. <laughs> yeah, that, that's such a simple right? explanation. That's dude, yeah, my, that's the most Bobby right? way of putting it. Like, but I think most of it was a cream pie, and you keep it. Oh, all of it was a cream pie. Yeah. <laughs> my great grandpa. Oh, either way, you slice it. But well, then there was cream political pie. things involved. <laughs> they got married like right either after way, World War II. And there was, you know, really yeah, yeah, was like forty five, mm. and then yeah, he like, died in like twenty twelve. Who smoke died? And drink? Um, my great grandparents. They got married in like 1944, 1945. and then Ooh. my great grandmother passed in like twenty twelve. 2014 around there oh. that's a long run no, yeah. society is yeah. exponentially crazy. changed and then my so great grandfather question. passed last like question this is the nail in the coffin oh, going shit. around the table last question okay do you guys want to get married <sighs> last question <laughs> <laughs> that's wild last what question what a last question wild last go, question go counterclockwise <laughs> because it doesn't have to be the <laughs> yeah, last can, question yeah can we have Bobby will go last. I pointed at him. Because <laughs> all I can do is give... No, yes or no? Yes or no? <laughs> all I can do is give... Words Rapid fire! Do I want to get married? Wanna. Marijuana. Do I wanna? <laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> I think we all wanna, but that might be a dumb question. Am I dumb? Mm-hmm. That dumb question? You guys oh. tell me it's I don't think anybody. Uh, Bob's looking at me like ah, I, was saying, yeah. I don't think anybody <laughs> wants to live alone forever. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to die alone. Well, Bob's but our grandparents did it at eighteen, twenty, some sixteen, True. some Sorry. sixteen. Okay, I got an answer. I don't see myself getting married for a while if I am going to get married for like ten years, at least. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but. It all depends. So you could get yeah, married. I guess that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah it, is that what all of us are saying? But like, I don't so know. So we all but want the Disney not, fairy tale, but, but, but we're just gonna wait. But, uh, but that's what I was gonna <laughs> yeah, say. Is whether we're just gonna wait? Whether we can build our Lego Fortnite? I want to have a kid. Nah, I was gonna say it's more based off the connection. You want to have a kid every week? Yeah. Next week. Next week. But that has nothing to do with whether or not you want to get married right now. I would be down to have a lot of kids. I mean, I guess up. right now I, my answer would be no because I'm not in a relationship with anybody. So oh, like, so you can't I, even imagine Like, I can't that. want to get yeah. married. But, yeah, you know, I get, yeah. I guess that's what I'm getting at. I, I think I'd it. do it in my life. In your life? I would. I want to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try it. No. I want to go down the slide. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I want to go down the slide. I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> like, that, if, I, if I decide, I want to try if I, like, if I meet somebody but and only decide for a little. I'm going to propose or whatever, like, I'm going to be sure. Like, I'm at that point, I'm, like, fully 100% committed. Mm. It, it looks know. fun for a little. I'm not buying a ring and doing all that if I'm just <laughs> yeah, see, like, like, oh, let's see what happens. Like, it like, it no. wouldn't be like a guy there like that. It would be like just a rager. We Bro, would just I just want to do it for the tax credits. We would all break stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is I need health insurance. Wait, I'm there, a musician. Was there an Adam Sandler movie Maybe about benefits that? Yeah, like like Chuck and, I now yeah. do like Chuck and Larry. Strong yeah. Movie. Yeah. Kevin James and fucking oh, okay. like yeah, 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 the, the firefighters. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's hilarious. Mm. It doesn't I'll matter. I'll put, you know what? I'll put my two cents in. All right? <laughs> oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> on, Hit us with some wisdom. Getting real married. Quick. He was waiting to say it. He has been waiting. That's why he wanted to go. He wanted to go. I thought about it, and what I've come to realize, the best way to explain it, is getting married. Is like setting off fireworks, but basically 
understanding that either your hand's going to get blown off or you're going to let go at the right time and it's going to explode. And it's, it's going to be a beautiful picture in the sky. It's, it's, it's a gamble. Do you remember? Do you remember it's the, like rolling some dice. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. Because anything can happen. Right. She could be at that grocery store I mean, and that every... guy could bump into her with that grocery basket and he could be uh, like, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. And she'll be like, oh. And then that grocery basket's getting fucking pounded by the drug player. Right. There's right. reasons these things happen, dude. <laughs> it could also be, if you want to compare it, it could either That's a callback, be... ladies and gentlemen. That's what that was. That was a callback. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Hey. It could also be... <laughs> if you want to compare marriage to World War II, <laughs> it'd basically be like... We dropped the bomb. If you had to. If you had to. If you had to. Either either we dropped the bomb. This is the Republican part of the (laughs) the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. This is Guestimate. Thank you all for watching. Love Thank you, you all for having Cheers. me, guys. I love you. It was Trump a pleasure. Trump 2024. Definitely will have <laughs> that. And beyond. Motherfuckers, I'll see y'all soon. Bye. It's all a toy story.